Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, men, machine, everything in between. Yes, that's right. I'm talking to you, you bots. Thank you for coming to the stream. You help out a lot by just contributing to nothing. Thank you, bots. I love you. Anyways, ew, what the fuck is up with Kaiden's face? What is that supposed to be Kaiden? Oh my god. What the fuck? Ew, that's gross. Anyways, we're back with more Mass Effect, right? Don't remember what happened on the last stream, but who cares? This is the episode where we kill Rex. That's right, we're gonna murder him. I'm gonna shoot him in the face, and I'm gonna enjoy it. Before we start, let me just make sure all the audio and shit's working. What the hell is that audio right there? What, what am I looking at right there? What audio is that supposed to be? Oh, I know. I think it's supposed to be my capture card or something, but I'm not using a capture card for this. So, that one has to be muted. Let me just double check that. Because it's just like a muted thing. Which they mean unmute. What is this? That either. What the fuck? Please? Okay, yeah, it is my, my capture card thing. Alright, we're not using that. That's fine. Uh, let me just switch. Why do I have this open? Is this? Wait. What? Oh, it's on this screen. What the fuck? Crush that. What is this? Why do I have this? I'm gonna exit out of that. I don't need that. Alrighty. We're back with more Mass Effect, right? In between uh, this part and the last part, I made good on my promise. And we, uh, well, I. I went back and I'm hitting my fucking microphone. I'm sorry about that. I went back and um I went and collected some bullshit. Where is it? I went and collected some bullshit. So what is this? Uh well, I collected all the, well, not all the minerals. I'm pretty sure there's some plants with some extra minerals on it and shit, but whatever the hell I needed to do for that, that's all done. I still need to locate the ID tags and the medallions and shit and all that stuff. But also, a couple of things of note. One is that when we were running around uh, dealing with the Geth signal shit, um, the last area you had to, there was a back room that I fucking forgot to go into. I just didn't see it. But when I was doing my little roundup on things that I needed to grab, um, back there is the information that you need for Tally. So make sure you go and grab that when you're done uh, chasing down all the Geth outposts and stuff like that. Um, also, completely forgot, there were some things that I just couldn't collect because I thought decryption was like the only stat that you needed to like hack into things and shit but you also need the electronics stat as well you need to get that to master so you can uh do all that i haven't had anybody hit that and since you know <laughs> kaiden's gonna go bye bye today it doesn't really matter for me so i'm just gonna have to go back to those areas and grab those uh crash um those crash probes and salvage points and all the other bullshit right so uh i would say Make sure you focus on decryption and electronics as your first uh, things to level up because you need them, right? Get those to mastery levels. And what else is there I want to say? Oh, yeah. The reason why we're going to just head to Vermeer right now and deal with all our bullshit is because um, there are... What I wanted to do was make sure that I had all my, uh, all my Intimidate up to make sure that Rex doesn't die. From what I from what I remember, I thought you needed max intimidate or like max uh, charm to do it. You know, for Paragon and Renegade. What you actually need is well, at least what I found is that what you need is like eight points in either or, or you can go one of two ways. Uh, one of two ways. One of three ways. Um, one way which is fairly simple and easy, which we already did. Um, it's when you help Rex get his family armor back. That's his little loyalty mission. And if you choose a certain option, I forgot which option it is, but if you choose a certain option, right, basically Rex will stand down because he's loyal to you. He's like, all right, Shepard, you're cool, right? The other way to do it is to make sure that you have no other party member besides, like, 
besides uh Rex and Tally? Because I don't think you can skip out on getting Tally. Um I don't think you can skip out on getting Tally. If you can skip out on getting Tally, you can you can do that as well, I guess. But uh basically what you need to do is leave Garrus behind. Um and like leave Garrus behind, don't go and grab Liara. Therefore you would just have Ashley you would have Ashley, uh, Kaiden, Rex, and again, I'm not sure if you can bring Tally with you or not, but either or, right? Um, and basically, since you need like three party members or whatever, or something like that, the game would just not let you kill Rex, right? But that's like a stupid way to go about things. Not stupid, but I mean, it kind of limits you. So, I mean... You know, there's that. But today, we should be able to do fine. Rex should be able to live. Ain't that right, Rex? Ain't that right, Rexy boy? So, first things first, we're gonna head downstairs. And we're... Why the fuck do I keep going in this room? We're gonna head downstairs. And we're gonna go give Tally the, uh... The data that we got on the Geth. So she can fulfill her little pilgrimage. And that will be nice. That will be fun. And that will make sure that she super loves me in Mass Effect 2. Because I love her. Who doesn't love Tally? I know there's some people who don't like Tally. <laughs> there's some people who are like, I swear, Tally and Garrus are like super mid. And I'm like, how dare you? How dare you say that? How dare you flap your gums? How dare you? That is the girl you're talking about. What's up, Tally? You beautiful, beautiful creature. Shepard, I need to talk to you. Yeah, it's what's important. up? important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? Yeah. I want a copy of it. Sure, you got it, no problem. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our home world. Then you'll leave me? But then you'll leave me? I don't want you to leave me. If I give you this data, your pilgrimage is over. You'll go back to your own people. Not right away. I'll stay with you as long as it takes to stop Seren. But my people need this. Absolutely. As long as you'll stick by my side. Hey, uh, to kill the Geth, it's encrypted. Uh. You know what? I actually want to. Is it to kill Maybe the Geth? You can use this information to destroy your enemy. Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years. But it will give us new insight. Tally, I know you got some sort of vendetta on Geth, right? Well, not centuries. some sort. I mean, to be honest, your people are at fault. But I <laughs> just want to make sure you're not you're not turning into like little Shadow the Hedgehog just fucking screaming around with guns, going, I am all that I am I I am all that I am all I am, you know? Uh alright, here you go, take it. Here, take it, here goes yours. Go ahead, make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt, one I can never repay. What the fuck? The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saturn and his... Alright, hold up. There's like a, a baby spider or some shit in front of me. Motherfucker not paying rent in this house, so I gotta kill a little bastard. Ugh. It's on my hand. Ugh, gross. Spider guts. Where the fuck did that thing come from? How come whenever I stream, like, I swear to god, there's like a 20% chance, maybe not 20, that's too high, but there's like a, uh, there's like a 5% chance that a spider will just like, fucking slowly fall down in front of my monitor, because it's all like, what's up? You recording? I wanna be part of the action. I can be the next Merka player, right? Anyways, cool. Never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. And right then and there, Tally got super moist. Somebody put a wet sign. Somebody put a fucking slippery four sign down. Papa Garrus, you got anything to say to me before we go and kill Rex? Commander, I wanted to thank you. Thank me. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought about what you said about eliminating the threat immediately, regardless of the cost. You were right. Of course I'm right. I'm fucking Chad Wellington. What you think, Garrus? 
Right. This way, we'll know he'll never hurt anyone again. Good. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. So apparently, I guess you can kind of change how uh, Garrus views the world in Mass Effect 1. At least that's what I heard. It affects his outlook in Mass Effect 2, which to me in Mass Effect 2, he was always just a badass regardless. So I'm not sure if that's true or not. Maybe I just somehow make him super hardcore renegade. I don't know. He's like, you're right. You know what? Aliens do suck. I hate the I hate the Torians. And I'm like, wait, aren't, isn't that your own race, Garrus? He's like, yeah, what about it? Shoot him on sight. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. Ain't that right, Rex? You ready to get shot, my boy? You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Oh, tell me. Tell me a story. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Of course they do. Time to time. If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. He's like, Rex, you ever saw like Cowboy Bebop? Uh, Basically, that's what he wanted me to do. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. Yikes! <laughs> Whoa! I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. And then we made sweet love on the battlefield. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. Oh man, she was a merc. Who got him? Which one of you made it first? It was a tie. We both shot him? <laughs> what? I brought back his head. She got the rest of him. As far as I know, we both got paid. That's cool. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. And then what? You guys fucking, like, killed each other? So what did you do? Well, I was going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. That's cool, Rex. You're cool. <laughs> he always was a bit of a softie. I go on. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station. Used my <laughs> entire story. I love how I love how Rex is like, yo, you ever heard about the war of jokes and riddles? Basically, she was dead shot, I was deathstroke, it went on for like a week. Dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. Oh, she get out? I assume the Asari commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. <laughs> so I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> Damn. Now, I'm not superstitious. But if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. My man Rex said since that day I, I jacked off to that memory countless times. Uh and what about the bolas? He get what shot? She kill him? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around. Mm. And he believed you. 
He kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Free payday. Nice. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. Cool, Rex. You're cool. Alright, I'm pretty sure he got nothing else to say. That's great. So long, Rex. Shepard. Awesome. Alright, talk to me, Boo Thing. What we doing? We gonna kill Kaiden together today? Commander? Yeah, what's up? How we doing? What's your opinion on the last mission? Gotta admire those colonials. That's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen. Given the option, I'd get the hell out of Dodge. We'll talk later, Williams. Alright. She ain't got nothing new to say. Nothing new to say. That's cool, though. Uh, let me just head over here. Actually, let me just... I'm pretty sure I don't have anything crazy over here, but I should... Just to... Just to, like, free up some space in my inventory, honestly. I want to just, uh, go over this real quick. Real quick, like. Um... Any new armor for you, Ash? This is... Oh, this is better. Yeah. Okay, and all we have is heavy human armor, so I guess I can sell the rest. You know, except for... Uh, well, we do have some Torian armor. Alright. Um... I'm gonna just give her whatever I can give her. Actually, I want Rex to have, like, the best weapons and shit, honestly. He's a monster. Who's my cute monster boy? Uh, what is this, pistol? Yeah, okay, why not? None of it does bonus power, but that's fine. And I don't have anything there. Oops. Alright. What am I giving you? Fuck it, I'll just give you whatever, honestly. Just to get rid of whatever we got. Um, all this is like trade-offs and shit. I hate that when I slot it in though, that it, that it takes me off of it. Yeah, that's fine. Let me see. What do I got to give you for armor upgrade? Just make you, like, super tanky, honestly. Yeah, you can have both of those. No one can stop you. Same thing with Ash, honestly. Wait, where's your armor? Over here. Shields? Oh, that should be for Tally, honestly. Yikes. That should be for Tally. Shield recovery and hardening. There you go. Tally should get, a. Uh, Shield regen, because that's pretty much all she has is shields, right? Wait, is that shield regen or just plus shields? Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. Damn it. I'm giving Rex, like, hardening and shit. That's Kaiden. I'm giving Rex, like, hardening and shit. I should be giving him health regen. these menus. I ain't gonna lie. I fucking hate them. I hate them so much. Can't wait for Mass Effect 2. It makes it way easier. Toxic resistance and health regen. Yeah, forget about the hardening and stuff. He has enough stuff there. That should be there for Ashley. Um, Garrus. Just gotta make sure your snipers and your assaults are doing good. Great. Field bypass. Anything for, like, cooldown? Weapon stability. Protection levels. The absorption goes down, but more damage. Not nothing, I just have a bunch of, like, scanners and shit. 
Alright, whatever, who cares? I'll think not getting opponents completely off their feet. That'll be fine. I should have did this all off screen. Honestly. But I forgot about it. Um Garris, did I give anything for your armor? No, I didn't. Is Torian armor good for you? Yes it is. There you go. Tally, I gave you the shield thing. You're good with shotguns. Is this better than what you have? Nope, it's the exact same. Weapon stability and your pistol. But I just passed weapon stability. There you go. Um, Omni tool. I gotta buy you a new Omni tool, honestly. You and Garrus need new Omni tools. Also, I do. Liara. Liara, doesn't matter what you have with what, but I do have to make sure your bionics are up to stuff. There you go. Kaiden, I don't give a shit. You can die. <laughs> You're gonna die. Alrighty. Looking for supplies? You damn right I am. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Oh, Predator. Is Predator the good shit? I think Predator's good shit. Oh, I forgot to look it up beforehand. Damn it! I'm gonna look it up right now, just so I don't waste any of my money and shit. Looking it up on my phone. Mass Effect 1, what is the best? What's the best armor? Is it Predator shit? It's Colossal Armor. Colossal Armor. Got Colossal Armor on you? Scorpion. Nah, he don't. Not right now, anyways. Remember Predator being pretty good, though, right? God, I hate when you, like, look up this shit, and it's, like, the most terrible looking, like, UIs. Uh, the, ar uh, the Scorpion armor is stable in the first half of the game, blah, 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 blah. The Predator light type, perhaps, is the best option if your plan has clap that's limited to light armor. This is heavy armor, though. Hmm... Characters who can access more are looking for Predator Heavy and stuff like that. Beyond these notable armors, choose the best armor. Uh, the Colossus armors has the highest damage protection of all armors. It is often mentioned in the same breath as Predator types. Okay. Meanwhile, the Crisis and armor, uh, Hazard armor sets. What the fuck are these? What is that, DLC shit? I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check somewhere else. Because they're given, like, not, not good answers here. <laughs> uh, Hydra and Onyx armor. Well, fuck, stop telling me the top ten armors. I don't give a fuck. Just tell me what the best one is. Okay, Colossus armor. Is it heavy, though? If you're the type of player who's looking for a biotic protection, the Colossus armor may not be number one. Who gives a shit? Don't get hit by biotics. Uh, 
Oh, what is Colossus armor though? Isn't that like heavy armor? But what's the best light armor? Because I can only use light armor. I'm a fucking sentinel. No, not sentinel. Wait, what am I? I think that's what it is, right? Oh, there's a light version of the Colossus armor? What? Oh, Colossus Armor just goes for, like, anyone? Hmm, whatever. I guess we'll check it out later when we, uh... When we visit the, uh, whatchamacallit? The Citadel? I just gotta take my charger, because my phone's dying. Sit my phone over there. It's gonna charge super slowly. And I don't know what all this shit is. Upgrade one increases maximum number of grenades. Sure, why not? And then I'm just going to sell everything I got because I don't need it. Maybe not everything I got. What's the button? The fucking... Oh, that's the button. The junk things. All right, cool. Uh... What don't I want when I get rid of? What? I, I didn't even make a sentence there. I'm trying to see what I don't want to get rid of. Now, nah, fuck it. I'm just going to sell it all, honestly. Even the grenade upgrades, I'm just going to sell it all. I'm just going to sell I'm just going to sell everything. Everything's getting sold. Because it's all just taking up space. And I'm not gonna need any of this bullshit. And I'm gonna need a lot of money to get, like, all the best shit later, so. If we can get the best shit, you know, if it appears. Mash that button, baby! Oh my god, that's a lot of mashing. Holy shit. I did not realize how much I had. Looking for supplies? Damn it. <laughs> Not right now, thanks. Damn it. No problem. Talk Keep to checking me. Back. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. Many good Keep supplies, back, yes? I thought his I fucking thought that his shit like changed for a moment. Oh wait, actually. Mm, no, no, never mind. I was gonna grab the predator armor, but then I was like, wait a minute, no. I was like, wait, it's heavy armor, I can use it for Ashley, but I'm like, whatever, she also gets Colossus armor too, so. Everybody gets Colossus armor. There we go. Holy shit. I got a lot of money. Who haven't we talked to yet? We gotta go talk to Liara just to see what's up. And then I'm gonna kiss Kaiden on the forehead. And I'm gonna say, hi Kaiden. Hi beautiful boy. You ready to die today? Kaiden's gonna fucking die today. Ain't that cool? Aren't you guys ready? I'm ready to blast his ass out of the airlock. What's up, Chakwez? Hey, Liara. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just want to talk. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. Then let us talk about you. Are you okay? I'm doing fine. I'm awesome. Don't worry about me. You do not have to put on a brave face for me, Commander. This crew relies on you for leadership. They can be a heavy burden. Uh, I can handle it. I'm good. I got it. I'm Chad. I've got broad shoulders. I have no doubt about that. But can they carry the weight of an entire galaxy? If we don't stop Saren... No. Never mind. I'm sorry, Commander. The last thing you need is someone constantly reminding you of how grim things are. Is there anything else you would rather talk about? Nah, man. I mean, I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess that's it. Uh. I should go. 
Goodbye, Commander. I should go. As I walk out the door, Liara starts crying a little bit. Kind of like Riza in Persona 4, right? She's all like, you're not going to spend Valentine's Day with me? And I'm like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, girl? Ah, we're friends. And I walk out and it's like, as you walk out, you can see Rize cry a little bit. What the fuck? You okay, Kaiden? You seem a little worried there, buddy. What do you think is going to happen? Anything you need, Commander? What, what do you think is going to happen, Kaiden? What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like this. Okay, we definitely, we definitely I mean, went through that before. The company. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorium. Hmm, they can't wait. Uh, probably. Screw them. Yeah, it's too busy. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for a mirror. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Of course they don't. That's your training talking right there. Smug aliens will shut them down. <laughs> no, don't. Hey, you know what, Kaiden? Since you're gonna die, I can be as racist as I want to be towards you. You're gonna die, bro. It's up to the Alliance to take its proper place. Renegade! Even if we have to kick it Space ass, races! To kick theirs. We're out here trying to save everyone. We can worry about who's king after the dust settles. Whose side are you on, soldier? You sound like you want the aliens dictating to us. I don't think many of them even want to. A lot of people don't understand that. I mean, it's only been 26 years. The hell's wrong with you, Kaiden? Are you a tentacle lover? It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. Who the fuck is Vernus? Jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I don't even want it anymore. Well, at least you got it. I'm glad to hear the bastard got what he deserved. He didn't deserve... He hurt a girl. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Oh yeah, Vernus is his, uh... I forgot. That Torian, uh... That Torian, uh... Biotic trainer, whatever. Beat the crap out of Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. That's when the knife came up. A military issue talent, right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. Fucking awesome. Like I said, he deserved it. It killed him, Shepard. Yeah, that's cool, that's sweet. Snapped his neck. That's awesome. Probably could have saved him if they got him to an You got the security footage? But they didn't. I wanna watch it. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that terrain. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. Do you? I don't know. You don't seem angry about the council strong arming the alliance. Commander, I thought real hard about how to use my talents. When I swore the oath to defend the alliance, it wasn't on a whim. If it comes down to it, I am a soldier. I have to believe that my superiors can tell our enemies from people who disagree with us. If the Alliance is missing its chance, it's because of men like Udina, not the rest of the galaxy holding us back. Of course, your opinion is the one that matters, Commander. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> You're damn right it does. As long as you remember that, we'll do fine, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. I should return to my duties now. He's like, Commander, Commander you yeah, give me a little bit of a we'll racist vibe time, there. Lieutenant. I'm not comfortable. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool, Kaiden. As I slowly press my pistol into his back. <laughs> Good night, my sweet prince. All right. Actually, you know what? I take it back. We're not going to head straight to Vermeer. I want to head over to uh, Novaria first. Novaris, whatever the fuck it's called. I want to do that first. Alrighty. I'm wondering if we should bring Kaiden along to do a uh, pinnacle station or bring down this guy. You know what? Fuck it. Nope. Kaiden's gonna die. Uh, did I even check this area? Oh damn! I don't think I checked this area before. When I was uh, 
doing my little scout and shit earlier. Whatever. Before we end the game, I'll make sure and grab whatever I need to grab. Alright, let's go! You know what? Since some crazy shit's gonna happen, I guess we can bring Kaiden with us. Let, let him hang out one last time, you know? Let him see the sights. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Well, fucking unarm it, dickhead. Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. I'm going to be confirming this fucking bullet in your face. Will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Alrighty. Since we're here, you know, it, it suddenly dawns on me that I didn't give uh, Kaiden any good weapons, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. Who's going to be joining us here? Uh, You know what? Kaiden and Liara. Yeah. I mean, I believe this is the mission with the uh, Benezia. Liara, let's go. Kaiden, you can come and see the sights. I didn't even upgrade your armor, did I, Kaiden? Shit. Logged. The commanding <coughs> officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Damn, Kaiden, and I just sold all my. All right, Liara, just phasing through walls and shit. That's cool. All right, guys, chill out, chill out, everybody, chill out, take your guns out chill out these guns are passive guns we're only here to use them to run hey what's up guys what's up what's up that's far enough steps ahead i'm on important business this is an unscheduled arrival i need your credentials and who are you you first we're the law here show some respect you're the law i'm a I'm specter Captain above the law elanis risk control services i don't rank you all you need to know is i have more credentials than you they plan to be trouble, ma'am. I don't plan to be nothing. I can't let you enter the port area without confirmation of your identity. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Don't you touch my fucking weapons. You better you stop. Let them do this, Commander. I'm keeping my gun. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two... Start shooting! Three. Captain Matsuo, stand down! Yeah, you better take a deep breath. We confirmed their identity. You bootleg Spectres ass fucking Captain Phasma. Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less comfortable. See, you knew I was a Spectre. Will meet you upstairs. So why'd you give me such a hard time? You behave yourself. I'll fucking... Mm -hmm. Watch who you're talking to. Why I oughta... One of these days, Wilma. Good. Also, female Torian. Yay! Alrighty. I can't wait. Oh. Okay, it was loading. I thought my game froze for a moment. I was about to have a fucking heart attack. I can't wait to start shooting this place up. Yeah. I am Gianna Parasini. Assistant to Administrator Analeas, we apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Yeah, you're real friendly. Someone pissed in your security chief's coffee today? <laughs> she takes her job seriously. She is a valuable Don't piss in a cup and tell me it's peach tea. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Why you got so many guards? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I ain't gonna lie to you, that sounds suspicious as fuck. Is this privacy intended to hide illegal research? This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. But it's not a you know It's not over my jurisdiction, is? all right? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? Mm, where's the gaff? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. That's suspicious, bro. Benezia. She is here. She's a dead woman. She's a threat to galactic peace. I'm here to bring her in or put her down. 
The board doesn't like having outside problems dumped Well then stay the fuck out of my way. Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Give me your cooperation. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. And where's Analeas? Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. All right. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Cool. She is here. I can't believe it. Sorry that this is like... I to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. I can't trust you. Get the fuck off my team. <laughs> I don't worry, you're good, you're good. Well, do you want to talk? Can I trust you? You good? We talked about her before. But things change when you're up against something. If it's her or me, who would you shoot? I meant what I said before. Her actions are wrong. If you would feel safer leaving me on the Normandy, I will stay. But I would like to see her. Maybe I can persuade her to come peacefully. Liara, nothing would turn me on more than watching you snuff her life out in front of me. Let's go. I hope so. <laughs> I accept your Liara, maybe if you shoot her Let's good go. enough, I'll dump Ashley right you then and there. That means a great deal to me. You mean your big, beautiful blue eyes. Alright, let's go. We're gonna go. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the Kill your mom. most respected site for independent <laughs> scientific research and development. For your own safety, I forgot the, the I forgot the term for killing one's own family. It's something side. I forgot personnel. what it is though. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. Alrighty. Businesswoman, what's up? You doing business? The managers warned us about you. About who? About me? Why I oughta. Let's go. Look at that fucking Solarian. You can tell he's a ladies' man by the way he walks. Or she. I don't know. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. Hell yeah, I'm here to shop. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. Nah, man, it's cool. What you got? Give me those upgrades. Proton rounds and bullshit. This one offers greetings. Sure, whatever. This is a store, right? Of course. This one apologizes. You got any licenses here? Uh. Seriously, wait, what? Yeah, okay. Metagel upgrade. There we go. Titan armor. This one you keep asking me. Meetings. What do you want? You, are the you got a mission for me? You keep asking me that. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed Spectre. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. I'm listening. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Hmm, smuggling in other words. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. You know what? You were truthful, man. You were truthful about I'll do it. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the specter. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? What you selling, homeboy? Could I buy something now? Or home, home them? Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? Actually, let me see your non-human armors. You might got some things that I want. Okay, what we got? Predator. Whoa. Okay. Predator. Whoa, okay. I'm not too worried about it, but like, if I saw a fucking Colossus there, I would have tucked it at the moment, you know? That's cool, though. <clears throat> Let's go. The 
managers warned us about you, Spectre. You're the Spectre, right? Um, management told us not to talk to you. Yeah, okay. Management's gonna get shot in the face. I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. Are you wearing, like, a face mask? No, that's just your colorization. It's pretty cool. I like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just passed the quarry in. Hello! Usually in Mass Effect 1, you don't... Well, not you. Well, yeah, usually. Because the mod, the diversity mod is in effect. So you're going to see some Corians here and there. But I don't think you were really... I think Tally's like the only Corian you really see in Mass Effect 1 without the mods and stuff. Just doing a quick little circuit. Making sure if there's anyone who really wants to talk to me, have fun. What's up, guard? Don't make us regret letting you keep those guns. Well, keep your gun down. Why do you have an N7 gun? Are you N7? I don't trust you. <laughs> you got an N7 gun. That screams I don't trust you. Also, listen to this awesome-ass music. I really like it. Wait, what? Port? Who what? Oh, a terminal. Okay. Just running around, checking things at the speed of sound. Now, where the hell do I go? This opens for me. Ooh, nice. Are you the person I have to talk to? Yes, you are. Why, hello there. How can I help you? Where's uh, Anolius? Whatever. What the fuck? Their faces. I'd like to speak to Anolius. Anolius, thank moment, you. One please, Mr. Anolius. Yes. What? What? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right. Fine. Come in. Cool. Are you enjoying stretching your legs, there, Kaiden? What's up, Anolius? How you doing, homeboy? You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space-born vagabonds. I'm sorry. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. That's true, that's this true. This meeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Hmm. The lack of oversight risky? Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Hmm, I see. He asked me to smuggle. <laughs> Super renegade. I don't even think that's renegade. I think that's just being whatever. So tell me about Benezia. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. Hmm. Sort of cargo. What can you tell me about her cargo? <coughs> Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. Okay, so it's not weapons. Cool. So, uh, defy that personal escort. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person. Mainly Asari commandos. Okay. And you didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. Okay. Well, I need to see her. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. So we drive. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't play ball, I'm sure someone else here will. Mm hmm, so why is she here? What's she doing? What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. Excuse me, his what? Executor. Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady Benezia is authorized to act in his name. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Hmm. All right. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Oh my god, you are an asshole. All right. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. 
it's so easy so easy to just so easy mm, nobody will know kaiden nobody will know kaiden if you if you did it for me i would let you live you've never worked in the corporate world have you commander you can't bludgeon through bureaucracy yes i can i can bludgeon pretty hard talk to Lorik keen you should be able to find him at the hotel bar can't say more not with an earshot of mr analeas you know what thanks Talk to you later. I will. Very well. I will make sure you don't die in the slaughter. Let's go, team. Move out. I think the person we have to talk to is up here, right? I think. I'm not sure. I don't really know. I'm just kind of guessing. Yeah, no, nope. Don't see any names. Are they down here? Um, damn. <laughs> I don't know where to go. They might be back here. Hold up. Nope, I don't think they're past there. And that's the shop. Maybe, maybe just further down. Why, hello there. Spectre, right? Hell yeah, I am. Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. Expensive water. What can I do for you today? I need to leave the station. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers. If you can polish enough gizzard. <laughs> He said, if you get on your knees, get on the old Jeff Keeley. You know what I mean? But you got one, though, right? Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. All right. You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights were shut problems. down by Analeas. And a matriarch came through. Problems? What kind of problems? What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. 15's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. Mm, I see, I see. Do you know where that matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. And you don't think that's suspicious? What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshan. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. I like you, you're cool. What was that about synthetic insights? Scuttlebutt says Lord Keen was on the take. Zainalea shut down SI's offices. Quiet, like, so no off-world lawyers come in on it. All right, listen, I gotta leave the station, though. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas or the managers, if you can polish enough gizzard. Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued in the All right, I have to go. You well, uh... Anything? I'll be here. Thanks, Lee. What do you mean, my journal? Uh... Hmm. Need to drive out and investigate. Yeah, I know that. Oh. Where's Quinn again? The opposite side of the docking bay. Okay. Alright, and this is where I would need the, uh... What's up, guard? Access to the garage is restricted. I gotta leave, though. I'm on Citadel business. I need to leave the station. If you want to enter the garage, you need authorization for Mr. Analeas. No exceptions. I'm sorry. Damn it. I can't grease a couple of palms, you know? I got I got shit tons of credits. Alright, let's go. Let's head towards the docking bay then. 
Come on, team, move out. Just stare at each other awkwardly in the elevator. Small room here, small room. There we go. Now, where is the person we have to talk to? Didn't they say they were at the docking bay or opposite die? Op opposite die. Op opposite die. I'm thinking about killing so much. Opposite side of the docking bay or some shit like that. What? What the fuck did it say? Um. At the hotel bar, take the elevator on the upper end of the plaza, opposite the entrance of the docking bay. Oh. Okay. I took the wrong one. Oops. So how's your day going, Kaiden? Feeling good? Feeling like nothing bad's gonna happen to you? Oh, what's that? Is that a is that a gun slowly moving into frame? Alright, opposite side of over here, so do 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 God I love having unlimited sprint. Oh, it's so good. This is how video games should be. I like staring at my crewmates. I want to make them feel awkward. Let them know that I'm in charge. Alrighty. Everybody take your guns out. This is cool looking. What's up? Hello, sir. Afternoon. Sit down. Have a drink. What can I do for you? Hmm. Tell me about Benezu. Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Is it odd to see her? Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstriped suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees so to speak <laughs> young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species liara stop <laughs> stop all right so uh what's she doing here you know anything you about know that is here she claimed to be saren's assistant here to get a certain project back on track i suspect she meant peak 15. armed commandos were allowed on the <laughs> I don't Gotta know clear my throat. Disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. True. Saren, and by extension, Benezia, is an important person. By that, I mean an investor who might sell stock if denied. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right about that. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. Yes, we are. I should write a book about it while I have the time. Our lives to are so short. We need to be. Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can old Turian like me possibly help you with? I need to get to peak 15. I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. You want me to deal with Analeas? No, I'm a specter. He's become quite I can bring down the house. Direct control of rents. Okay. By rents, you mean bribes for Analeas. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. 
Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Credits, you say? I'm interested. You got my ear. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Fly in the what? Violence against Mr. Analeas... The fuck are you talking about? Necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. Oh. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. I'm a specter. I can kill Here everybody who I damn well please. Offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? I'll try my best. No promises, though. Sometimes I get a little happy, you know? Alright, so where the hell do you want me to go again? What the fuck? My TV just turned on for no reason. What the hell? Is my dog on my remote? No, he's not. What the fuck? That's weird. Why'd it do that? Alright. Uh, rumors pick 15. No. There we go. Where's the office? Take the elevator on the lower plaza level to synthetic insights once inside. On the lower level. Okay. <clears throat> dun, 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 mm, 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 nothing in here for me. Oh, wait, hold up. Nope, nothing in here for me. Might as well check out the whole area before I go, businessman. You're the specter, right? Management told us. Can I help you? I don't know. Can you? Fuck. Can I help you? That's why I'm asking you. That's why I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to see if you need my help. So. Okay. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. You just- wait, huh? You don't even introduce yourself. You just started a fucking cut- what? Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity. Or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my... real intentions. Okay. Hmm. Strange people skulking in corners have gotten me in trouble before. I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Okay. The town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What's your interest in Binary Helix? They do genetics work. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Yeah, what do I get out of it? What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. 500 fucking... Lady. I shit out more than 500 credits, but you know what? I'll do it. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Oh, sure, brief me then. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I quit. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll go see him now. Too much. I hope to hear from you soon. All right. Don't hang up, Elder Brother. It's me. I'm on the Varia now. I 
can't talk long. This call is costing 10 credits a minute. The real time <laughs> call is costing 10 credits a minute. I can't talk. Ooh. Security control unit. Don't mind if I just... Just do a little bit of haha. -ha. You saw nothing. I got so fucking confused for a moment. Oh my god, I saw his armor from this side, and I was like, what kind of fucking alien is that? What's up, homeboy? Read it. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I thought we could have fun, I thought we can talk a little bit, alright, I'm sorry. I didn't know, I didn't know I was, you know, I didn't know I was unwanted like that. Hello, my friend. Yes, you can. I am a Spectre. Hi, how you doing? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas sales. Were you interested in our services? I am. I am, sir. It's customary to perform minor genetic upgrades upon enlistment. I've been assigned to see what BH has to offer. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. That's relevant. Mr. Vargas. I'm here to talk business with you. If you'd rather speculate on politics, I can visit another Gen Inch firm. You have my full attention, Shepard. I'm merely getting a handle on my negotiating position. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. I see, I see. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. It's not good enough. Mars Gene's clotting enhancement improved speed by 16%. Ah, I see you've done some research. That's their official claim. However, we believe they cherry-picked their sample to show optimum results. The numbers we provide are strict mathematical averages. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. Don't rip me off, That's homeboy. The commercial price for individual purchasers. I'm offering you millions of jobs, Mr. Vargas. That's worth more than some stock sensory upgrades. I'll give you a cautious probably. There is a standard discount for bulk orders, but I can't authorize that. I can push it upstairs. I'm sure someone will get back to you on it. I have to admit, it surprised me that you're here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. Hmm. Uh, not everything I do is legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals. Some days I defuse nukes. Some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. Alright. I'm being paged. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with the <laughs> I hacked into your shit, homeboy. Any results? It's done. Give me more money. Did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. I want a thousand. I could easily call Mr. Vargas and tell him what I just did. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 700. <sighs> All right. Good day, Spectre. All right. Renegade. <laughs> you have like short horns. I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a corporate account. Is this supposed to be a female Solarian? Have we ever seen female Solarians? Like even in like Andromeda? I know we've seen like female Krogans. They just look exactly the same as other Krogans. All right. Now, where the hell do I have to go for, uh, 
for this guy's um office. Is it is it up here? Is it this way? No, it's not. Where is it? I don't think it's down here because this leads to the garage if I if I'm right. Oh no, that leads to the garage. Where the fuck does this lead? Guns out, team. Why, hello Freeze. there. Hanshan security. This office is sealed. Hmm. So, uh... What'll you do if I don't? You're the Spectre, right? Laura Keene is under investigation. Listen, you can't take me. Step out of here. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. That makes you a criminal. I can kill criminals. You're bluffing. <laughs> when the wager is one's life, <laughs> I'm bluffing. Is the bluff really so wise? He ain't paying me enough to take on Spectres or Alliance troops or whatever. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Great, thanks. Awesome. Nice to know you get the memo. Oh, well, they said they're, they're not going to do anything, but the other mercenaries, on the other hand... Let me use my pistol. Oh, that's a mean pistol. Try to solve it non-violently. <laughs> oh god, he got vaporized! I thought he just like hit the ground. No, that dude got... He's gone. He don't exist no more. I'm a specter. Watch out. Oh, I missed. Hold up. He threw a grenade at me. Threw another grenade at me. Stop doing what you're doing. Stop doing what you're. Oh fuck! Barrier. Oh damn it! Where's the uh? There's someone above me. What the? F oh, you lifted this up. Okay. I thought there was like two, uh, two enemies. Okay, let us go and grab what we need to grab. Grab that upgrade kit. Hello? Is anybody home? Don't mind if I do. Just grab a little bit of that. Get on this computer. I'm gonna steal from his safe. Why not? Because I can. I'm a specter. I can do whatever I want. Why are you just standing there? Oh. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were Liara. Oh, it's you. Hey, what's up? I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Your point? Do you plan on making me leave? Leave? You think I'm gonna let you walk out? Uh-uh. You wanted to I shoot me from day one. Show you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Being a cop doesn't give you the right to break the law yourself. You accepted bribe money. Hmm. Now listen, I don't have to kill you. You can walk away from this. I'm giving you a choice here. I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Well, I don't need a gun. Alrighty. Okay. I see where we stand here. Oh my 
god, they're sitting here and zapping me and shit? Get out the way. Get out the way. She's dead now. I'm stuck. Now, did you guys really think doing this was a smart idea? Don't know where you're hiding. Come out with your hands up. They didn't come out with their hands up. They left me. No choice. I didn't realize how nasty I made my guns. <laughs> kind of fucked up. I'm going to hack into here. Why not? Did we level up, by the way? We did, huh? Kaiden, good thing you're here. Bam, Master Electronics. Just in case I need to hack into some shit. Um, what else can I give you, Kaiden? I guess I can give you Barrier. Let you live a little bit longer. <laughs> Just a little bit. But I mean, I can also do that. Because I need Electronics. Really badly. What's in here? There's a computer, nothing important on it. Alright. Any other offices I can get into while I'm here? Oh, can I hack open all these? No, I can't. Alright. Well, mission complete. Let's get the fuck out of here. They're gonna go like, where uh where Sterling head to? I don't know. That lady's gone. She just disappeared into the ether. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? I'm innocent. <laughs> of course not. Why would I? Don't play me, Shepard. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. She said, don't play me, Shepard. All right, all right, you got me, you got me. You gave it to me straight. I'll hear you out on your offer. I'll hear you out. For some reason, I thought this was the bar. <laughs> Why did I think this was the bar? Oh, it's fun, right, Kaiden? Let you, let you blow off some steam before we head to Vermeer. All right, homegirl, what you want? Allow me to reintroduce myself, Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. All right, why are you here? Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas' corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. Hmm. I thought corruption was the rule on Novaria. The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. Can't have none of that, that's bad. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. All right. I need that pass, though. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor whatever I need. Favor. Okay. Seems we'd help more people if we did as she asks. Kaiden, Look, shut Shepard, your face, I, I got this. I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. That's cool. Pay me, though. Keen is offering to pay me. Can you? 
I can produce a copy of Analeas's pass for you. I can't move large sums of money without someone noticing. You know what? All right, I'll help you. Why not? Why not? All right. I don't like. I don't like Analeas anyways. He's an asshole. Thank you. Motherfucker you thinks he's I better work. than me. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. All right, let's go talk. Keen, buddy, got your data right here. Got everything you need. But hey, a pleasure, Spectre. I don't like Analeas. You don't like Analeas. I need you to testify. I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. <laughs> uh, you have um, never heard of my negotiation style. If necessary, yes. Do what I tell you to, or Analeas will find what he's looking for. It is good to have all our cards on the table. I regret that you have a better hand. Very well, I will testify. I like that you played ball with, with that. Contact, I will wait here. Cool, cool, cool. 25 renegade points. Holy shit, look at that. Oh my fuck. <laughs> renegade! Going crazy. I gotta put my electronics to mastery, so I don't need anybody on my side. Cool. Uh, so do I go talk to her? Yeah, I gotta go talk to her. Head back to her office. All right, cool. What sort of Good. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They don't write them down on things. Right? I don't think I can talk to this guy. Can I? Okay, cool. I was wondering if I can just run back to him and just snitch. <laughs> just be like, oh, by the way, I hacked into your accounts. Renegade points. Renegade. Chad Wellington, everything's coming up. Wellington. The hell are you doing, Liara? What was that? I mean, it was kind of cute, whatever you just did. I don't know what kind of animation that was, but it was a little cute. Alright. I don't know why the music just, like, disappeared like that, but... Oh wait, no, it's starting back up. Alright, cool. Um She's uh she's in the docking bay, right? Wait, this is the docking bay. Why didn't this open? Oh, it was loading. She in the docking bay or she Oh wait, no, she's his assistant. So I just run in here and talk to her real quick. Be like, yep, he said he'll do it. Spectre. Have you given any more consideration to my offer? He'll do it. It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. What about that garage? So, how about getting me into the garage? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right Can I hit him? To be silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. See you later, Analeas, or whatever the fuck your name is. I forgot already. I'm gonna go walk into his office now, see if I can steal anything. Wall safe. Da da da, gonna steal. I'm a specter, I can take whatever I please. I can do whatever I want. That was fun, I like that. I feel great now. Motherfucker gonna tell me what I can and can't do. All right, before I head up to go uh, to go look for um, Benezia. I heard some of the guys were ransacking synthetic insights. Captain Matsuo didn't order that. Yeah, I want to go talk to Captain Matsuo real quick, see if uh, she got anything smart to say. Be like, hey, I laid out your fucking... <laughs> I laid out your little, uh, your homegirl. She is now a stain on the floor.
God, I hate sitting in this fucking chair. <laughs> I hate these fucking quote unquote gaming chairs. The most uncomfortable shit known to mankind. Captain Matsuo, where the fuck are you? Are you even here? Yeah, you are. Talk to me. Commander, I'm glad you stopped to talk. Damn right I, I am. I wanted to tell you how unfortunate it was that Analeas Sama was caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Rest assured, <laughs> I bear you no ill will. Analeas Sama. Really? Did they have to do that? Uh. That's funny to me. All right. <laughs> there was no need for them to do that. Um, your opinion doesn't matter. Fuck you. Do you condone his actions? Do I gotta put you down? Nah, he was a criminal. Unfortunate? He was a criminal, Captain. The executive board is not concerned with galactic law, Commander. That's why this planet was settled, after all. As far as they are concerned, Analea Sama went too far. On Ovaria, you may do what you wish, so long as you do not disturb public order. Cool. I only request that you limit the number of disturbances you provoke. I would consider it a favor. We'll see. Do what you have to, Captain. I'll do the same. I see. That makes your position clear enough. If you will excuse me, I must file reports on this incident. Good day. Cool. I just wanted to let her know that her homegirl is a puddle on the floor. Now she knows that. We're all good. And I guess I can go talk to the other dude, maybe? Maybe he has something for me? I could have sworn there's like some uh, quest that open up once you get rid of Analeas. I think so. Everyone starts to have like a bit of a different outlook around here, I believe. They're like, oh, maybe the Spectre's not that bad. He got he got business running again. That's cool. We're heading this way. I gotta pass. How you doing? I heard the administrator's been arrested. Any chance you had something to do with that? Absolutely. He was corrupt. <laughs> Most people here are. I wish you could take them all down. So what can I do for you today? What can I do for you today? What was that about synthetic insights? Analeas had shut down SI. Looks like he was trying to blackmail them. It happens often enough. He got caught this time, though. Looks like the executive board is going to feed him to the Nathak. The Nathak. I have to go. I like that. I don't know what it is, you but I like anything, it. I'll be here. Yeah, that's cool. I wish you would sell me shit. Uh, and then there's a there was a guy upstairs, like near the bar or whatever. Was it this way? No, this is to the offices. There's a guy upstairs. I wonder if he's like active now, but I guess we'll check it out after we uh deal with what we can do over here. Access to the garage is restricted. Got to pass. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. Thanks, you're just doing your job. That's cool. Why is there, like, waist-high cover here? That... Mmm, that don't look good. You guys just got Geth hanging out in your garage like this? Guns out, people. Guns out. Guess we know what the matriarch had in the crates. Hey, man. So, Geth can Geth can bypass weapon scanners. Whoa. Um. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you two have. Now, where the fuck did he go? Oh, he's over there, huh? Got him. Where? Oh God! Nice Where shot, guys. Things? Fan out and secure the area. No one gets in or out. You mean what are these things? These are Geth. Oh. Was I supposed to do this? Ah, that wouldn't have been fun. I'd rather deal with it my damn self. 
upgrade kit. Anything else fancy around here? I thought these were like steps or something. Fuel tank, containment cells. Man, uh, Imato, you should like up your security. What did you do here, Commander? I defeated Geth. What the Geth fuck do you mean? What did I do here? Back. That's it. Geth, you expect me to? Where did they come from? If I were to guess, Benezia packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. Well, they were able to hide it. Sama's containers were packed with these things. There are many more out there. Well, now you know what to look for. We may be seeing a lot more of these things in the coming month. For three centuries, everyone has said the Geth don't come out of the Vale. What is happening out there? I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose Geth, there may be an investor panic. Investor panic. <laughs> Oh, you fucking money-sucking, you scumbags. Alright, to the Mako. We don't know how the Mako got here, but it's here now. And how I hate this fucking thing. I hate the Mako. Oh, I gotta open the fucking... <sighs> I gotta open the door. We live in the future, but it don't open by itself. I gotta tell you, fucking off stream, while I was uh, grabbing everything off stream and the other planets and stuff, oh my god, I learned how much I just really hate the Mako. I hate it so much. Say what you want about Andromeda, but at least they got that right. Fucking controlling whatever, I forgot what the vehicle was called in that game. But like, whatever it was, it was way better than this shit. Now guys, get out of my way. What do you think you're all doing? Stop it. I got a meta gel for that. Oh, who's blowing me up? Oh, God. Okay, it's Mora. Okay, it's you guys. I didn't see you. Oh my God, you just ate that missile like it was nothing, huh? Out of the way. <laughs> I love watching the Geth just run across the screen. It's too funny. It's too funny for me. Alright, how's the uh, Mako doing? It's doing pretty well. What the f- Oh, I guess it hit me? Thought I shot something invisible for a moment. The hell is this? I'll take some weapons and shit, why not? experience and it's money so why not you know hope I don't fucking fall off the cliff oh I'm boosting like an animal around here Watch out! Oh no! Oh! How is that? Oh, I guess that. <laughs> What's that? A burning corpse that I created? Don't see no death.
God, I love these fucking ragdoll physics. We're almost there, guys. Almost there, team. We're making it. Slowly but surely. I should have bought Rex for this. That would have been interesting. But I wanted Kaiden to... Kaiden to breathe some fresh air. Get off the ship every once in a while. Wait, did I just go past... That's free XP. Where the hell? I just went past... Oh, there it is. That's free XP. I want that. Stop shooting me. Can't wait to get to Mass Effect 2. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking about right now. I'm like, oh my god, it's in the mountains. Oh, I thought I could shoot the missile. Just backstep it a little bit. Take your time. Take your time. You guys got some pretty good ass placements for these turrets. Alright, team. Guns out. Be vigilant, team. Be vigilant. Oh god, the lighting in here looks great. Let me see what my sniper's like. Oh, come on, guys. Don't kill him before I have a chance. Oh, there's no recoil on this. Holy shit. Oh, this is a great sniper. I love it. I love it already. Damn, Kaiden. I'm surprised you didn't die yet. Because I didn't give you anything. Maybe I should give you a little something. Oh, I did give you some stuff. Okay, cool. Oh, this pulse rifle, though. Is it better than mine? I mean, it's a notice noticeable damage. I'm gonna take it. Couldn't be transferred? What do you mean it couldn't be trans- ...have suffered a great deal of damage. Let me see. Biohazard materials oh, it's a geth weapon, that's why. Okay. That's cool, but I want I want my uh you know I want my stuff. Explosive rounds. What else did I give it? Oh yeah. I gave it more damage, right? 25 damage, 10% heat absorption. Overheats faster, but it fucking kills. Oh, wait. There we go. That mitigates the heat absorption. Alright, well. Just trying to see if we got. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, that looks sexy. It's. It's. It's basically, it's it's pretty much the same, just 18 more damage. Oh yeah, I haven't even used my shotgun yet, so I don't even know how it feels. I love the sniper I got, though. Oh, this should be for, uh... Oh wait, this is an Omni tool. Okay, that can be for, like, Garrus or somebody. Alright, let's give you something, Kaiden. Let's give you a better assault rifle. You know what? You can have the Geth rifle. There you go. You happy about that, buddy? I, 
guess since I max out your electronics, you can have the uh, Omni tool right now. It would help you. And nobody has any points or anything cool. Um, hmm. Wanna, wanna we'll need to get main power back. I'm gonna try my shotgun, see how that bears. Ugh, looks nasty. Love it. So they shut off the main power, right? That's cool. The lighting in this room is fucking fantastic. I love it. It's probably because of the community patch. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Spy, how's it going? Not the gun seat. <laughs> how the fuck am I even supposed to say it? The gun seat? I don't even know how to pronounce that. That's weird. It's too many vowels, too close to each other. I can say the gun dussy. That's better. I gotta see how this shotgun feels in combat. That's something I really love about Mass Effect 1 weapons. Like, I know a lot of people mod in the Mass Effect 2 stuff, but like... I walk past this, I won't Why get shot, will I? Facing the wrong way? Yeah, I'm about to say, am I gonna... Keep their people in as much as they wanna keep others out. I'm not gonna get shot, am I? <laughs> okay. I have to make sure. What are you guys doing on the floor? Spilling your ketchup everywhere? What's wrong with you? I got some fries here. You finished it? Did you just get it? Like, you finished it recently? Mass Effect Andromeda's on sale for 10 bucks. I know a lot of people would just say skip it, but don't listen to them. <laughs> don't listen. It's not the best story, but the gameplay is definitely the best in the Mass Effect series. There's a lot of freedom with it, which is really good. It's a step in the right direction, for the gameplay at least. Sentinel up. Oh! <laughs> that man turned to space dust. What's a shield? I don't know what that is. Oh! That's too visceral. What's going on? What was that? Animals. Oh no. You tell me, Liara. Some freaky shit's going on. We're in space. Ah, uh, it's a space roach. Kill it. Maybe it just wants a hug. It's got those space tentacles going. It's pretty cool. TP was kind of annoying. What's TP? Explain. Explain yourself. I love how they're just posted up. They're just waiting for it, huh? They are. Your mother started the problem. You go fix it. Get in there. Go do it. What, why, why are you... Okay. I don't know, they're dead. Xenobiology is not my field. Maybe someone in the labs knows. Yeah, they're so gross. Oh, didn't let you teleport between your save points? Yeah, uh, that's why Mass Effect 1, honestly, you got it. I mean, it's it's okay for a game. When, when did it come out? 2006? 2008? Was 2008 Mass Effect 2? 2012 was Mass Effect 3. I think 2010 might have been Mass Effect 2, and then 2008 might have been Mass Effect 1. It was on the original Xbox. Mass Effect 1 was, anyways. I am gonna fuck this up, oh my god. There we go. Um, yeah, but like, Mass Effect 1 definitely is dated as shit, right? Especially the fucking, you think the teleport, te you think not being able to teleport to shit was annoying? The fucking just going around planets in the Mako and like fucking going over mountains and shit is the most annoying thing in this game to me, honestly. Which is why I try and do that between the streams and not during the streams because it's annoying as fuck. I'm hearing things screaming at me. I'm hearing a space roach. Where is it? Motherfucker scared me, I'm not gonna lie, that scared me a little bit. <laughs> The fuck is that noise? 
the hell? <laughs> Why did the door make such a loud noise? Also tried out the Star Trip, uh, Star Trip, the Star Trip Shoopers game. Star, fucking Starship Troopers had a game. Yeah, but um, you gotta, you, you kind of just gotta mod Mass Effect One at this point, like. If you, you know, if you remember the first part of the stream, we were doing the PS5 version. That's gross. Get that away from me. I'm not a fan of that. Ew. A backup power system, Commander. Must be for the station. Critical startup error. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Manual boot required. Damn, lady, you got some really, like, dark blood. I'm hearing things. They're making space noises. All blue and shit. Ew. <laughs> you see that? A little graphical error there. If I move if I move my camera a certain way, you can kinda see the area around the lighting. That's gross. It's probably like the patch fucking up or something. Oh, it's early access. Oh, never really watched Starship Troopers. Flextronics offline. All right. Why am I going down by myself, guys? Why are you leaving me? Wait, what? If I just come up and they're like both replaced by like space, <laughs> by <laughs> they're both replaced by space roaches. That would have been like the funniest shit ever. All right, what what do you want me to do? I'll do it manually. Is my meta gel? I did, oh, I think I did it with meta gel every time I did this. What the fuck is this? Memory core one damage transfer. What the fuck? Oh, huh? I'm sorry. Transfer module stack to core two or three to reactivate. Oh, okay. I can't move it. Hmm. I can only move that there. That goes there. That goes there. That, I can't move that one. Hmm. Such a stupid puzzle. Okay, it goes in order. That's weird. Oh wait, no. Do that back. Bring that over there. That should be fine, right? Do they all need to be there? Oh, they all need to be in one area. Fuck that. <laughs> Insufficient Omni Gel. Well, we're gonna make some. Duh. Insufficient Omni Gel. Who the fuck? Oh god, I only got like one Omni Gel. <laughs> I need a hundred. Oh, this ain't gonna be good. Wait, what? I got 25. <laughs> Yikes. Hmm. Well, gotta do it manually. Guess it's the first time I'm doing this shit. Oops, my bad. Wrong button. Alright. So you gotta transfer them all. Hmm. Yeah, transfer them all to like one thing. Oops. Wait a minute, what? Can't move that there. 
can't move that from B, why not? Oh, this is stupid. <laughs> it was a real, it was a really dumb fucking thing, huh? back there I've never done this shit before Tom look of an IGN guide oh you mean the one that tells you to pick up the wooden shield and fucking bloodborne cuz it's vital shut the fuck up IGN guide I'm trying to oh. get better results going on like game facts or some shit I did it. Hell yeah! Fuck your guide. It looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? Ah, oh, shit, a pop-up. Get away from me. How do I shut this thing up? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? For what purpose? Why do you need to know? To determine the data access available to you. Basic access is limited to non-secure queries. Secure access allows most system functions. Privileged access is available only to executives of Binary Helix. That's cool. My name is uh, Benazia, but I'm a Spectre, though. Commander Shepard, I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. You're damn right I am. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. Tell me where Benezia is at. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. Damage report? What's the situation here? One moment, please. I also want to point out Chad Wellington's face here is not possible without mods. <laughs> That's why he was so ugly in part one. I hope I can like port it over to Mass Effect 2 and 3 but make it look better. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Oh. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you've unleashed to sleep. Nice. Cool. So how do I fix that? What do I need to do to get the power back on? Did on the Octopath Traveler 2 had a demo? Yeah, just like the first this one. You did a demo and it transfers your save or whatever. Proper. But I heard that... I skipped out on the first one, but I heard that you really don't need to play the first one because the second one is kind of like... It's kind of like what like, most games are kind of doing now, where they're like, we have a better budget and we know what we're doing, so we're just going to try and redo the first one. That's what I heard what the Octopath Traveler 2 basically was, anyways. Um... Hmm... What are the landlines, and why are they disabled? The landlines connect my mainframes here at Central Station to the various sub Still expensive. Peak 15. Hell yeah, it is expensive. A lot of this shit's this expensive, man. To remotely it's ridiculous. My databases from the comfort Especially with, uh, of their labs. inflation going. It's terrible. Within the hot labs, the Gaming's always been, like, expensive. Well, except for, like, the PS2 era, I guess. PS2 era and the PSP era, the games were pretty fucking cheap. Like, those were, like, the cheapest, I think, honestly. You had to, like, a Toys R Us, and you got a new game for, like, maybe 30 sometimes just, like, $25. It was ridiculous. 
back when GameStop was worth a damn. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Well, ain't got time for that. Log That's out. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Cool. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Now exiting to the roof. To the roof. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. It's 50 bucks on sale. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> it's a sale. It's full price. What? Stop it. Good job, Gaiden. Can't wait to kill you later. Bad space bug. Smack it. Where'd the other one go? Oh, they lit it up. Cool. Also, I guess in Mass Effect 1, like the collection or something, I guess poison just doesn't work. My health bar is green. I'm supposed to be taking, like, poison damage, but I guess that just doesn't work. Because even, like... Even without the mods and shit, like, I never took any more damage from it. It just turned my health bar green, and I'm like, okay. Online, how may I assist you? Full price is over 100. Yeah, you guys are fucking cannon. What's going on with my eyes? <laughs> Whoa, okay. My, my model didn't load for some reason. Or, like, the lighting fucked it up. Uh... Do you know why the reactor was Oh, I asked her all this already. All right. That's all I need. Stop talking to me. Logging you out. Uh, what do I do here? All you gotta do is press a button and it's repaired. There you go. Let's get the hell out of here. Enjoy the alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Okay. Manual restart required. Enjoy the fresh air while you can, Kaiden, because you're not gonna need it soon enough. Imagine if you, like, joined the army and, like, your fucking general or whatever the fuck, whoever your commander is or whatever, just constantly threatened to, like, shoot you in the back. <laughs> just constantly. It's like, I hope you enjoy it. What's this, a gun? It's gotta be more than one. Where is it? Motherfucker just, like, showed up out of nowhere. You stuck down here? User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. I hope I'm going the right way. Now entering main reactor. User alert. Main reactor shut down. So, Liara, when we meet when we meet your mom, how you how you plan on like blasting her into space? What gun you gonna use? What type of bullets? Get this up, because some sneaky shit's about to happen. What the fuck? Oh, that's a get. Oh! God! User alert. I thought that was shut down in accordance with the something I didn't have to worry about too much. Manual restart required. Yeah, Kaiden? Yeah? Good work. I shot him in the finger. Oh, shit. That dude's dead. That one's not. Whoa, he came running for me. Alright. Well, that's happening. <laughs> it just goes flying. Oh wait, there was one behind us. User alert. Main reactor wait, shut it... down in accordance with emergency Why are you guys shooting over there? I thought it was Manual over here. Restart required. Where you at? Get, stop getting stuck, Shepard. Where the fuck? You just hanging up here or something? There we go. Here's some medicine, guys. 
See, we got it all under control. I'm a specter. Fixed. I'm wondering if I should just like go straight for Mass Effect 2. Or like start doing uh start doing what you call it. Great ace attorney. Finish that up. I might as well finish that up because they're releasing the uh, 3DS games, right? How I've been reading the manga? I have not been touching anime in a, in a while. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you what. I haven't really had time for it. What I need to do right now is like record all the things I need to record for the YouTube channel. Get that all uploaded and shit. Right? And then just worry about what the fuck I'm gonna do next. I think I might start taking classes or something. Start getting in like computer science or some bullshit. Now entering decontamination and transit hub. I wanna like I wanna watch more anime and like read more manga and stuff, but it's so difficult to get into it now. Cause all of them are basically the fucking same. Most of them are basically the fucking same. They're locked in. Who's locked in? Could be finessed. It appears that the trams to the subsidiary stations are beyond it. <laughs> Liara, why you pause when you said it? it could be finessed? How you humans say finessed? That's cool. What I just said. Oh, hello. That wasn't cool. Control group losing them. They're in. Can't escape. Cut the tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the thing struck. Get out while you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here. He must have. Been <laughs> oh, that's not fun to laugh at. <laughs> but it's, it's, look at his eyes. Yeah, he uh, he saw some shit. Come on, team, let's go. How the fuck did I get poisoned? What if- Is Kaiden in there? Oh god, I thought Ka Alright. I thought Kaiden was in there. He's like, taking me to Vermeer. Start burning me. Ow, that hurt. Why'd you do that? Yeah, finding a good series is definitely hard now. Like... I, like, I'll be honest, I like Chainsaw Man, I did, and I, you know, and I was excited to read more of it, but then, like, just open Twitter one day, and you just see how weird those fans are. It's like, oh, there's a character that has severe mental issues, I want to have sex with her because she's not right in the head, and it's like, are you guys okay? It's like, yeah, the fact that she has issues makes her cute. I'm like, huh? You're making me not want to read this no more. Make me not want to read a series that you barely have to read because it was created for people who don't like to read. <laughs> like, <laughs> people are fucking weird. Oh my god, he's just like me for real. The amount of times I've seen that fucking picture everywhere, and I'm just like, wow. It just gives me flashbacks to like when Overwatch came out, and everyone's like, oh my god, May is just like me. I'm happy that they made an now overweight character. And I'm like, she's not really overweight, guys. She's just, you know, she's just plump. Have you not seen her artwork? You kind of projecting a little bit there. Or like the people that are like, oh my god, fucking uh, Wednesday Adams is just like me for real. <laughs> it's like, okay, all right, all right, calm down. Like, calm down, fucking weirdos. Mm, one is a fire room, the other one's an SOS room. To the fire room we go! Oh, it's locked. Order by Captain J. Ventrails. I'm trying to think of, like, the last 
good new series besides uh besides the idol thing because that was eh. Stand down. it's good right it just makes me uncomfortable <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable for reasons sorry we couldn't be sure what was on the tram all right i take it you've encountered those things encountered fought seen men ripped apart by We're and it may hit a little too close to home for me you're human and that's enough that i won't it's good shoot. though i'd like to know who you are i'm a specter my name is Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there. Han anymore. Olar? The first most Star the Wars ass fan ever. Command post. We had a lot more staff then. I'm packing fire and steel. They want to fight with claws and teeth? It's their funeral. You got my support. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. They sent an Asari to help? Man! You guys got fucking lied to. Venezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. That's cool, that's cool. Uh, tell me about Benezio. You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs. She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. I have no idea what the fuck that manga or anime is. What is it, some ninja shit? Hmm, the bugs came from the lab. Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. Then why the fuck are you here? Pay hey, must have been really good. Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick stuff. A man is dressed up like a fucking blue like stormtrooper. <laughs> the Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Uh, listen, I'm not sending my people down there it's too dangerous you understand okay okay i get it i've got work to do yeah i hear that hell man the perimeter don't get aliened man how did i miss Ugh. bad alien how dare you The fuck is that noise? Bad. Thanks for the help. Every few hours a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. It's one of the good isekai shows? I don't know why they Is there even a fucking good isekai show now? Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. They're all they're all the same. I think the only isekai show that I just want to watch is like Konosuba because I've kind of put that on my back burner for a long time. I watched like what a couple of episodes and I was like, eh, it's alright. Aw, oh, they're all dead. That sucks. Now, does this lead to the. This doesn't lead to hot labs, right? This is like the medical center. Hanar here. You good? What? Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Ialis from the University of Araeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? Inconsiderate much? <laughs> How's that inconsiderate? That, that's a weird way to start a conversation. What? Tell me about yourself. Alright. <laughs> I just sat the fuck down. Who starts a conversation like that? No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? Hmm. Uh, well, tell me, tell me some shit. All right. Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me? And Zom One Hundred. I don't know what. I don't know what any of this shit is. Because I'm I do not know anything about the Matriarch. My my and knowledge of I anime know. have stopped like maybe, maybe like two years ago. <laughs> maybe. Around the time when people started telling me to watch fucking uh, Spy, what was it called? Spy X Family or whatever the fuck it's called? I, I don't you know. Seem less upset at this situation than the and then other. too many people kept telling me to watch it, and that I was like, alright, I think I'm just gonna not. You interrupted. Just to be, just to be that guy. Do you know Matriarch Benezia? 
Why ask me and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the matriarch. Then why would I? You're a bitch. I mean, I guess you would be pissed off in the situation you're in, but like, you're an asshole. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. I feel like I feel like there's more about this. That's all for now. I feel like I'm gonna be shooting you by the end of the day. Then I will return to my meditations. I feel like you're part of something. Why do you come up here? Some sort of death wish. Alright, calm the fuck down, sir. I'm here to help, dickhead. <laughs> he just started tweaking out. Put a gun in his face. He's like, all right, all right, all right. Now, where does this lead? Restricted area off limits all unauthorized personnel. Who gives a fuck? Wait, is this the... I got to make sure I'm not going into the fire labs. I think that's where, like, you kind of just end it all. All right, I just wanted to make sure that I don't Warning. get shot. Watchdog protocol is active. I think the fire labs is where where I go to like oh press the wrong button I panic I tuck out my fucking sniper who's in here guards why are guards in here blast that fool to space get out of my way. I'm on a mission. I'm a specter. Oh, I missed. Well, that happened real fast. Mike, let me check my map. Where am I going? To the secure lab. Is that the hot? Is that the hot labs? I I don't. Check the journal. I want to make sure I'm I'm going the way I'm not supposed to be going. Okay, the hot lab. Okay, we're going to the secure lab. Great. Dude is in a dead end job, and then a zombie apocalypse happens, so he decides to fuck it and try to cross cross it off his bucket list. All the things he wants to do. Wait, what? He tries to fuck the zombie? That dude's metal as shit. That reminds me, there's like a movie, um, there's like a, fuck, I forgot what it's called. It's like a movie where like some kind of fucking virus breaks out and basically what the virus does is make people like act on their like most violent urges and shit. And like, it's pretty fucked up. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty fucked up. It's a fucked up movie, right? It's pretty dark, but it's not like dark just for like, you know just for like you know being dark and and uh stupid and scary and just being like gore porn there's more there's more reason for it to be in i keep pressing the wrong button there's more reason for that movie to being uh like as violent as it is rather than like saw where saw is just like just a bunch of stupid gore porn but half of the time it's just kind of shitty anyways Every fucking movie ends with some character looking at the screen going, Game over, you lost. And I'm like, alright, your one-liners are shit, can you stop? Hey guys, how's it going? I'm a Spectre, oh my god. <laughs> Just taking a walk. This gun is too violent, dude. <laughs> it just turns people into puddles. It's pretty good. Manga, you recommend give the anime a try. All right, you still didn't answer my question though. He fucked the zombie. <laughs> what are you talking about? You said he decided to fuck it, and that's all I heard. And I'm like, huh? That's all I see there. Did he fuck the zombie? Is that what happened? Quarantine lab is locked down. That's cool. Okay, 
where does this lead? Oh my god, I'm going down like elevators and shit. And oh, I put down a marker by accident? My bad. To the mess hall. Science station. The tram. Okay, the quarantine lab is locked. How the fuck do I get into the quarantine lab, though? Oh, oh he decides... Fuck it. Alright. So he decides just to go a like AWOL. Cool. I thought you were like, he looked at the zombie and he said, You know what? I like the way she moves it. Sick scientist. Wait, what the fuck happened? Wait. I'm so confused. What happened? I was just in this room. I just did a big ass circle and then motherfuckers started going crazy. Wait, what? What happened? No. No. Don't touch me. What did I do? What did I do? I did something bad, didn't I? <laughs> what did I do? Smuggling. You've entered an unguarded back door into the sealed areas of Rift Station. The guards are not alerted to your presence. Wait, what? You've entered- what? Huh? Did I just kill like a bunch of people I didn't have to kill because I wasn't paying attention? Did I blast away that fucking bitch that was talking to me earlier? <laughs> Oops. I must have accidentally killed a bunch of people. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. It was fun. That was the most, like, accidental, like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill all you people. Oh my god. Why is there a... Stop that. Guard barracks. I went to the secure lab, and then I just came back up from where? From the quarantine lab. Was I supposed to get something in there? Did I make the- I definitely made these people sick or some shit. Kinda like- <laughs> it's kinda like Mass Effect 2, where you head into the quarantine area, and like, if you go there with like... If you go there with like, Garrus, or fucking um... Or- or uh, who else is with you by then? Who's like a fucking alien. If you're like, ah, damn it. You don't get grunt that early, do you? I don't think you do. Who's hanging out with you that early in the game? Maybe it's like unused dialogue or something. I don't know. But if you head into the quarantine area with aliens, they'll just go like, Shepard, you know this this sickness affects aliens and not humans, right? Get away from me! Yeah, I definitely fucked up here. I'm pretty sure I didn't have to kill these guys. I'm pretty sure there was something I could have done. Oops. <laughs> well, I definitely fucked you guys over. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna do like another lap, see if there was anything I can like pick up or something. Maybe there's like a vaccine down here or something. <laughs> Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Well, it was my mistake. Guess we'll live with it. I gotta make sure to at least finish this and head to Vermeer, though, because uh, I want to do that this part. So, wait. Wh which leads where? This leads... Okay, so did I not go this way? You do not know the privilege of being a mother. Oh. There is power in creation to shape a life. I didn't mean to come to here first. Happiness or despair. Damn it. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. That's not why Liar is here. She just wanted to see you, man. Now, I believe you can talk Benezia out of this, but, like, 
whether you talk her out of being evil or not, I think she just kills herself, right? Listen, that's not why Liara's here. Don't worry Liara's about her. here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me? She don't know shit about you. What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. You can't take me. Hmm. <laughs> what about Liara? What about Liara? She's a scientist. She's been. She's an archaeologist. She's been spending her time in the dirt. Listen, you can't take you me. Look so smug with a hole in your head. Your insolence is a poor mask for your fear. Yep. Guess negotiations are over. Oh. I'm a specter. Damn it. that up oh. I fucked that up get away from me well that was easy I love how she's like have you ever faced the sorry commandos and then we blast both of them away she's like all right send in the gap fuck it that bitch away. I'm loving this shotgun. Oh my god. She took three shots. The season's anime is kind of meh. Yeah. I don't know. I should get back into anime. It's just... It's not nothing... You know, you put it on, right? And you can't really, like can't really just like have it on in the background or anything you gotta like fully pay attention to it maybe not fully but you know what I mean especially if you're uh if you're doing subs what's up losers can I hack this would have been cool if I could This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. Looks pretty over to me. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. Man. I think the Rachni disagree. Oh, by the way, these are Rachni. I don't know if anybody told us that yet, but these are Rachni. They're supposed to be instinct, but they found, like, a Rachni mom, and, and, you know, the Krogans apparently killed them all, but I guess they missed one. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his... It wasn't me, it was Saren. Briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. All right. We met Shiala on Pharos. She told us about Sovereign's indoctrination. It is a terror to be trapped in your mind, to beat upon the. That's right. I watched Get Out. I was the only black person in the theater when I watched it too. I was powerless. Made me very Nothing uncomfortable. But a tool <laughs> he sent me here to find I was there with my Asian friend, and then I was watching the movie. And I was like, "Oh, at least the Asian, the blind Asian guy is good because he doesn't see color. I get what they're doing." And then the blind Asian guy's like, "Nah, I want to see color. Make me a black man." And I was like, "Oh." And then I looked at my Asian friend, and I looked at all the white people in the movie in the theater and I was like I'm very uncomfortable now <laughs> you guys are gonna get me I don't trust any of you am I sinking in my seat is someone drinking iced tea over there Ding in their glasses how the hell do you lose a relay how does something that big go missing 4,000 years ago a star nearby went supernova the shockwave propelled the relay out of its system but did not damage it its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the Nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object. What the hell? What's with that camera space, angle? That's weird. Particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. 
All right, well then give it to me. Tell me where the Mew Gate is before I lose my temper. Of course, Commander. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. What are they doing next season for anime? Quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You should. Hey. You should. Oh. You hey. Should. All right. I, I don't leave. Fight him. A lot of sounds you happening. Always made me proud, Liara. Great. Now shoot her. Liara, shoot your mother. I command you. Die. Damn it. <laughs> I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. <laughs> uh, now die, two shots. Ugh. I am defeated. Uh okay. Let's see. I cannot go on. You'll have to stop him. Treacherous words. I don't what the fuck does that mean? Also, why are my eyes going dark? Maybe because I'm evil. You all there? What what the fuck does that mean? What? You're free of the indoctrination again? I still hear it like metal on metal. Yeah, the the bullets helped out, Shepard. Mother Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> and now she's dead. They made sure to... <laughs> Even in her dying breath, they made sure to really just focus that camera on where it matters, huh? Wow. Where the fuck are you going, Kaiden? Um, there's some freaky shit happening behind me. Now that ain't right. Good thing I have the Sharing gone. Oh, I wasn't expecting Shepard to actually get caught off guard by that. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. The fuck are you talking about? Who am I speaking to here? We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. The Krogan wiped the Rachni out a thousand years ago. The sky is quiet now. Our mother's songs are lost. And those who slew us now walk to meet the same fate. You're saying we're gonna go extinct? The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as uh, they are. So you want me to like track down the, the Rachni? Okay. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen, they stole our eggs from us. That's a good term for scientists. Needlemen? I like that. To beasts of war, claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. 
Oh, you mean like every child that exists now to fuck a millennial ass parent? Oh, just put an iPad in front of them. Let fucking Mr. Beast and fucking PewDiePie and all those fuckers raise your kids for you. Smart. Alright, man, if you want me to kill them, sure, why not? I'm more than willing to wipe them out. Such discord and spoods ill for what we must compose here. I like killing, I'm sorry. We stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Commander, those tanks on her enclosure, they're acid. Strong enough to dissolve any living creature. They must have installed- I know from reason. experience, Shepard. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. See, I brought Kai in here just to let him stretch his legs, but I should have brought, uh, should have brought Rex. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. You die here. Hmm. And what do you plan on doing? If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we, I, do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance. Songs the color of oily shadows. She's like, listen, I was somewhere else, don't know what happened. I just heard motherfuckers dying left and right. I was scared of shit. So I hid. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Alright. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. All right, cool. So here's the thing: you can either choose to kill and extinct the Rachni, or let them free. Whether you're doing Paragon or Renegade, guess what? Let them free. Because this is one of the biggest, um, one of the busy, uh, busy, one of the biggest examples that people use when they talk about things that, that kind of gotten forgotten about or didn't really have any, didn't have as big as an impact as it should have have when they get to Mass Effect 3 because they changed it, the shift of the story and, you know, the series became more, you know, it became more popular. And with that happening, you know, little editors get their hands on it and they ruin the stories that were supposed to happen. Right. So, um, so the rack and I kind of get forgotten about. So the reason you want to free them is because of Mass Effect 3, depending on what some things in Mass Effect 1 also carry over from that because they keep it in your save file for Mass Effect 2. And then that gets kept in your save file for Mass Effect 3. Right. So uh, if you kill them, you just get like renegade points or experience or some bullshit. I don't know. But if you don't, uh, in Mass Effect 2, a character will show up and be like, hey, I represent the Arachni, and they're just, they just want to say thank you for being cool, man. And then you get to 3, and when you need to have war assets, if you kept the Arachni alive, they get added to your war assets. So that makes getting the better ending of the game easier to get. So we're going to do that. Get out of here. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go for Arachni keeps true to their word. Will give us the chance to She's like, there's some stray Rachni out there? Fucking kill them. They're just monsters. But us? We're gonna go head out and be cool somewhere. Bye, Space Cockroach. I love you. Be free, creature. Chad Wellington will remember this. All right. Now every rack night we run into, we just blast them away. Let's go, team. We're back here now. You guys aren't gonna like. Here's the hot labs. Are there supposed to be rack nine here? I think there are. In 
this is still closed over here, yeah? Alright, we're supposed to be getting attacked through here, but we're not for some reason. Just gonna take another quick trip through the area, because there was definitely a door that was locked that we weren't able to get into. And I just want to check that out real quick. And then we'll head to Vermeer. Oh, hey there, buddy. What's going on? Are you here to secure the situation? Hey. Hey. Hey, man. You don't look right. If by secure you mean shoot every monster I see, sure. I am certain you are having strong feelings. But what has happened here, it is our fault. You understand? I understand that we'll be dead soon. Talk fast. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. Um, okay. You gonna, you gonna keep, uh, um, the game freak out? This was Ragnar's okay, I had to skip it manually. That was weird. Eggs in cryogenic suspension. They brought it here to wake it up? Binary Helix planned to clone Ragnai, mass produce them, create an army. Alright, something's wrong with this NPC. I have to skip when his dialogue. Here, That's weird. This egg is not a common Ragnai, it is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Well, they fucking failed. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? It's a bug, Shepard. Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs All you need is a queen. Away from the colony to hatch and bee the bees can become queens, if need be. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Are you telling me I shouldn't kill these things? Uh, actually, I want actually to tell I want you to murder. I like murder. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad All right, thing, man, get to the chase. They must be euthanized. I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates bursts of neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. All right. I don't have time for this. If the matriarch isn't here, uh, we're leaving. I do not want so much to be here myself. Is fail safe? You understand? Cool. I think when we come back, the dude gets wrecked by a Rachni or some shit. I don't know. Connecting. I have full access to the facility. I need information on the neutron. The neutron purge is a fail safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In resolve event, sounds final. Containment loss. It is used to resolve the situation. Wait, does it kill everybody else on here? You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. Activate do it. the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. <laughs> Mumble something. <laughs> uh, sick semper term. <laughs> that is not the correct code. Please. Who would have those codes? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive... Alright, cool. I'll just turn around and talk to him again. I bet he'll be super safe back there. The hell? Oh. We'll just ask him for the code. Hey, buddy, we need the code. What's going on? You wanna, like, give me the code? I am feeling not so well. How do we set... Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Nera Oh no! He got aliened! Well, that's all the problem. I have not so much time. I die under ice. It's not so bad. Thing. 
Tell me the fucking code, man. There is closure. I need the purge code, Tartakovsky. Code is 875-020-079. You tell Mira that. Then tell her code Omega local execution. Everything run automatic from there. Cool. You leave quickly, yes? I will... Cool. I leave quick. Quick enough to skip your dialogue, because for some reason it's not working. Hell yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> First of all, I don't know how to pronounce that something at the funeral. It's coming out next season, and it's basically the only other show that I give shit <laughs> give a shit about this year. What's it about? What you do? Wait, how the fuck did he... Oh yeah, he got tossed across the room. I was like, what the fuck? How did he end up all the way there? Time to kill things on the station. Nuke the place, fuck it. Online. Nuke it. Activate the neutron. I'm sorry, but I can't do Code input. 875-0. Verify. Cool. Get the fuck out of the station. Oh my god. Oh, look at all the We're going. I just I just took a peek at the fucking map. Getting the hell out of here. Neutron purge system. I basically killed everybody on the station. Oh well. <laughs> I already made them sick anyways, I guess. I don't know. Do I just like go back down there and say what's up? Where does this lead? I want to make sure I'm not really missing anything. There was a... There's a locked door somewhere. And I don't know where it led to. But whatever, fuck it. Whatever it is, we missed it. I don't know. I already fucked up. We gotta get to fucking... We gotta get to a uh, Vermeer. Start this stream late enough as is. And Vermeyer's gonna take a bit. How long have I been going for, by the way? Oh, about like two hours? Eh, almost three. Alright, we're good. <coughs> we're good. All right? What time is it? Oh, yeah, it's usually time where I would stop the stream, but I start like super late. Hey there, buddy. You got anything important for me? Hey, so what happened up there? Found Benezia. She's dead. Rachni. Would you believe Rachni? Trying to pull one over on the old campaigner, eh? It's been an Asari's age since there are any Rachni. Well, if you can't I say killed them. Anything, no big deal. Points for imagination, though, eh? So what can I do for you today? What was that about Sinden? He got caught this time. I have to go. You need anything? Cool. But now he is super dead. Before we head out of here, I just want to head over to the bar because there was like this one fucking Krogan up there or whatever. He was like giving me some shit. But I think he might have a mission for us or something. I'm just going to check him out real quick. Then we'll go. Then we'll go run over to Vermeer. So we can shoot Rex in the face. <laughs> you never know what I'm gonna do next. Will I shoot Rex? Will I not? Who knows? What do you think about the security? Oh, that's not stairs. Yeah. Did you see the on the way in? My god, that hallway's like really bright. I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a corporate. All right, sir, you look like you have something important to say. I said beat it. All right. Well, guess that's it. Time to head to... Oh, actually. Hmm. I want to head to the docking bay. Because I want to talk to, uh, what's her name? Mitsuo? Or what the fuck? That loaded pretty fast. 
Man, fuck the elevators. I want to talk to her. I would be grateful if you would finish your business and leave. All right, well then, fuck you, I guess. Everybody on the ship, let's go. Gonna head to Vermeer. We're gonna kill Rex, and then I'll shoot Kaiden in the face. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? Nah, man, we're going to Vermeer. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? Alright, alright. Listen, Ashley, come on. Just because, you know, you're giving me the Jeff Keighley treatment and sitting on your knees doesn't mean you gotta, alright? Chill out. We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. Nah, it's alright. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Why did we okay, have this meeting? Is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the council? Yeah, sure, why not? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, do not cut me off like last time. I failed to find it amusing. Oh, wow, that Whoops. sucks. And we're out. <laughs> uh, don't cut me off, Commander. Oops. <laughs> That's how you're going to start a conversation? <laughs> Alright. Alright, before we head to Vermeer, let's see if anybody has anything new to say. Because I get experience for listening to these motherfuckers talk. And I think it's time for Kaiden to have his final words. What do you got to say to me, Kaiden? I took you on the last mission. You can't say I never did anything for you. Anything you need, Commander? I don't know, I'm looking for a personal input. What you got? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. That's cool. What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's heard of you. Poor kid. Having to kill their own mom. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the council. And fuck the council. During the Rachni War, I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. All right, Kaiden, you literally we'll had like zero time. input on that mission. Thanks. Those are your final words, Kaiden. All right, cool. What's up, Miss Tassoni? You got that new PS5? If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Man, you don't feel bad about that? Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be. You know, Liara, you're really taking the satisfaction out of, out of, you know, us, us fucking killing your mom. I, I kind of wanted to see Crowell, but... <laughs> I blame it's all right, Saren. Though. And if I were you, I'd want revenge. We have enough reason to stop Saren. She's like, maybe if I was a little bit more renegade, Shepard would like Benezia me. chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. All right, that's cool. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Wow, you kept it short and sweet. How you doing, Chakwas? Yes, Commander. I just Is want there to see something you. you need. Any anything I new with you? Serving on an okay, ship. well, no. Nope. Nope, no, she don't got nothing new. All right, it's not Mass Effect Two. I'm still kind of, still kind of finding it hilarious how I fucking blasted Benezzi in two shots. <laughs> you won't win, Shepard. Kaboom! Can somebody clip that for me, please? I want to have fun with it. <laughs> I'm going to watch it as I sleep. Alrighty, who are we talking to? Let's talk to Ashley. You had a little bit of an outburst there. You good? Commander? How we doing? What's your opinion on the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It was yours. I mean, you weren't there. If you haven't talked to Dr. Tassoni, you probably should. She just lost her mom. That has to hurt. 
Didn't you just talk shit to her, Ashley? What? Make up your mind. <laughs> Alright, so what are we doing? What's your opinion on the last mission? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, she ain't got nothing to say. Cool. Looking forward to it, Skipper. What about you, Rex? I know you got something to say. Shepard. Uh, okay, he has nothing to say about the Rachni, really? Alright, well, Rex. see you later, Rex. Damn. Garrus, you got something to say? Commander, good to see you. Alright, nothing to say from, from Garrus. And I highly doubt Tally has anything to say. I mean, I gave her the geth data that we needed to. You good, Tally? Hey, Shepard. You need something? Nah, man, you guys are just, you got nothing to say about the Rachni? Shit, I mean, it's kind of a big deal, but alright. You know. Rachni Wars and all that shit? Okay, I guess, yeah, fuck me then. What about you? You got something? Looking for supplies? You got any, like, Colossal Let's Armor or some shit? Uh, Scorpion, Adventure, Storm, uh, okay, nothing. Alright, cool. Alright, well, let's head to Vermeyer then, since nobody got anything to fucking say. Kinda surprised. Liara and Kaiden were the only ones that had anything to really say, huh? All right, let's go to Vermeyer. Off to Vermeyer we go. If we have time after Vermeyer, I think I'll like head to the Citadel and just see what I can like pick up and shit. If there's anything I can do there. And then after that, I think we'll call it a part. We'll call it a session. Alright. Onward to Vermeyer. Let us go. Rex, you're coming with. Who else is coming with on Vermeyer? Hmm. Ooh, I actually don't know who I want to bring on Vermeyer besides Rex. Actually, you can come with, right? I'm trying to think if, uh. Ashley and Rex? I kind of want to bring Garrus. Nah, Ashley and Rex. We'll do Ashley and Rex. Commander, I'm reading a signal. It must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them up. I'll get All right. you in underneath their radar, Commander. So there's a Solarian commander down here, which I forgot his name. It's like, it's like Karen or something. I don't fucking know. All right, keep the Normandy safe, Joker. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Sweet. Good job. Alright, what do we got here? Hmm. I guess I'll... Maybe put into stasis? What does stasis even do anything? Makes the target unable to move? Oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. I don't fucking know. Ashley's got six points. Wow. Okay, well, I've been having her do pretty good with the rifles, and I want shotguns to be her next thing. And then Rex is doing great. I'm going to give him warp, though. Ten points. Fucking Christ. Mm. Yeah, just boost up warp all the way, honestly. Alright, we're good. I don't think I can give Rex any other... Eh, 75... Oh, this is way better. Oh, yeah. I like Rex having, having a good shotgun. Our weapons are great, though. Alright. Let's get to business. I don't even know what I'm shooting. What am I shooting? Weird crab things? They're not even considered enemies, but, you know, they're in my way. 
Renegade for life. I missed. There we go. Is there a turret somewhere? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Little bastards are kind of hard to hit. Let's go. Got all these fucking Bioshock lighthouses out there. Where's the, uh... That turn wasn't even moving. Is there another one? I, I guess that's it. Am I going to snipe that? Follow me, team. Let's go. <laughs> Blasting away death like it ain't nothing. Go ahead, shoot me. I got a barrier. Is there a? Is there another one? I have to. My, my, my weapon's cooling down. Give me a second. There we go. Where the fuck? Thanks for helping me out, guys. There we go. Get some fancy shit. here. Cool. Hop on down. Oh. Uh, little tiny ledge. I can't jump over it. Now, I forgot what the fuck the Slarian's commander name is, right? But basically, depending on the choices you make, you can make sure that motherfucker stays alive and shows up in Mass Effect 3 or not. But I don't know what options you have to choose to keep them alive, so I might fuck it up. I probably will fuck it up. Dude might die. Ooh, level up. Nice. Turn around, Mako. Turn around. Such a pain in the ass to control you. Did I, did I kill the other one? I love just fucking running into them and just ragdolling them around. There you go.
Takes forever to kill you fuckers, though. You guys just love eating hits. Let me just make sure. I'm gonna try and keep uh, the Solarian alive if I can. And I'm not sure if I have to, like, kill every Geth I see to help me with that, but, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Still jammed. What the fuck? Why is it still jammed? Come on, team. Let's get out. I love my shotgun. I love it. That's a big gun. Hope we can find the off button. Ah, we can just blow it up, Rex. No problem. See, motherfucker's already shooting rockets at me. Get him, Rex. Good job, buddy. Man, you fucking iced him. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Good job, Joker. Can't wait to play Mass Effect 3 where you want to fuck the ship. You freak. <laughs> Ready to move, Commander. I don't think I'm missing anything, right? Oh, there's a crate. Might be good shit in it. Alright, oh. Oh, uh, wait. I have to manually open this? Or do I just walk to the other side? Was there like a button to open the gates or something, or? Let me check the map. I just want to check the map, make sure. Okay, I am supposed to be going that way. Is there a button that I missed? Oh, here it is. There's the Normandy. I'm gonna switch to this. Come on, show yourself. You put up a fucking shield. If I think about your shield. Wow. I want to use my assault rifle, but uh, it's just not as good as my shotgun. No Geth Stalkers. That did it. We shouldn't have any more trouble reaching the camp. What makes you say that, Ashley? Maybe I might send you instead of Kaiden. <laughs> I'm so afraid that, like, the choice is gonna come up and I'm gonna get confused and I'm gonna send Ashley by mistake. Wanna point out any other time? I would send Ashley. But I, I never played Mass Effect and, and did not sin Ashley, so Kaiden has to die. He lives too much. 
That man's too full of life. I need to stop it. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. There's the Solarian camp. What's up, Solarians? So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Okay, what's the status? Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, third in Kirahi, that's how you pronounce his name. You and your crew have just landed in the middle Did of Did he always look like that, or is this the community patch doing 10 that? Miles has been alerted to your presence. Okay. So, uh, now what? What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the council sends the reinforcements we requested. Eh, fuck the council. We are the reinforcements. <clears throat> what? You're all they sent? I told the council to send a fleet. Listen, they ain't coming. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Did I hear Saren? Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. Alright, what are you doing? What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? <laughs> Rex walks off screen. Apparently, By the way, how the fuck did Kaiden get here? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. The Genophage. What's so important about curing this Genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the Genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising. To quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Alright. So we gotta stop it. The Geth are bad enough. But a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. Rex? We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We <coughs> already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Listen. Listen. It's not your problem. I'll deal with it, alright? Don't worry about it, Captain. I'll deal with I it. Do worry. What's this? Is this I'm a gun alive. coming into frame? Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Okay. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Alright. Just wanna reiterate. There are three ways to save Rex. You gotta have enough... Uh, you gotta have enough Renegade or Paragon. Right? I believe eight points worth. That's one way. The other one is do his loyalty mission and just tell him to come the fuck down. That's the easiest way to do it. That's the one where you gotta find his uh, ancestor's armor. And the other one is to do some fuckery with the game system in which coming here with the lowest amount of fucking party members you can come with, which is Kaiden, Ashley, and Rex. I'm not sure Tally's part of that. You might be able to tell Tally to fuck off, I'm not sure. But, um, you know, I believe, I believe, I believe you don't need Tally with you. I believe if you bring Tally with you, you might fuck it over. Yeah, I think it just has to be Kite and Ashley and Rex. And that way, the game the game has to, like, keep three party members with you, because no matter what, you have to kill off Kite or Ashley. So, doing that will also save Rex. <coughs> Alrighty. What about Rex? You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. All right, I'm not scared of him. He's Rex my boy. Rex doesn't worry me. He'll fall in line. If you say so, but I'm gonna keep my eye on him. If it's all the same to you. Don't worry. Stop shooting the fish, Rex. Just chill out. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I forgot which option it was for uh. 
for the loyalty thing, but I think it might just be the middle of the road. I think the option is literally just telling him to calm down or some shit like that. Listen. Calm down, Rex. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. It can't be serious, Rex. Come on, it's me. It's it's, it's me, Shepard. Come on. Come on, it's me, Shepard. I shouldn't have to explain that to you, Rex. Indulge me. I'll kiss you. I've been loyal to wow. you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's just we are, right? I think that's the one. We are, Rex. We're good. We're good. Come on, Rex. Put put the gun down. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? Come on, Rex. You're my boy. No, we were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. It's all yours. My boy Rex is alive. Uh-oh, what's this, a gun? <laughs> Let's go. Come on, Rex, you're part of the team. Let's go. See? We're good. We're good. What did I tell you, Ashley? It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Hey, Garrus. Normally, I wouldn't think much of Solarian. Why are you so quiet? Fight, but these soldiers seem well trained. If Garrus is here, then where the fuck is Tally and Liara? Where the fuck is Tally and Liara? Why the fuck is Garrus hanging out over here? Oh, and there's Liara. Your ability to calm the Krogan. Why are you so quiet? I kind of want to see where the fuck Tally's at now. I want to see her hanging out. You in here, Tally? Are you in here, Tally? There you are. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. That's cool. What the hell is this medical station? There we go. Alright, let's go talk to Captain Kirahim or whatever the fucker's name is. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. Alright, you got a plan? I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Sounds difficult. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. I like it. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. Fucking works for me. But you'll all be killed. It's a good idea, but your people are gonna get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. <gasps> you need one of my men? Okay. Now this decision right here doesn't decide... I believe it doesn't... I could be wrong about this. But I am pretty positive that this one doesn't decide whether Kaiden or Ashley dies. It just sends them with the other team. Later on, I believe there's a decision whether 
you have enough time to go to Kaiden or Ashley, but you have to, you know, that's the decision to choose who's going to die. So this one, I think you can send whoever the fuck you want, really. <clears throat> anyway, that's a good idea. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? All right. Chill the fuck out, Ashley. Man, Kaiden's like the nicest boy we got. You should be happy that I'm going to kill him instead of you. All right. So. Ah, I don't want to send Ashley because I'm afraid I'm going to fuck it up, but I think I know what I'm doing. And because Kaiden's got to go out in a blaze of glory. Ashley, you go with them. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I'll have the ordnance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation. Don't worry, Ash, I'll go and save you. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Hmm, I do, actually. The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth Because Rex is alive now. Once the bomb right. is in place, we will fall back to Our goal is to keep Ashley blasters. alive. And I want to keep quickly, Captain Carey him alive. With acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. Man, dude, that sounds fucking dangerous. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. All right, tell me the mission. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA gun so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. All right, all right, all right. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. Good thing Kaiden has masters in electronics. external sources. Once it has been armed, very little. I don't think that matters, but the key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this. Excellent. Then, if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Don't die on me, Ash. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just. Good luck. What is it? Is there something you want to say, Chief? I don't know. It's just weird going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I. It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Let's kick some ass. Whatever happens, everyone just keep shooting. We go in hard, hit them harder, and spray and pray, team. Spray and pray. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life, but I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. I'll try my best. Try my best, Kirhi. All right. <coughs> Kaiden, you're coming with us. Uh, and Rex, you're coming with us as well. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Affirmative. Let's go. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. 
We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. You're damn right. Alright, I believe there are like three options in total. Uh, I really don't need any of this bullshit, honestly. I guess I'll put it into... To electronics, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Kaiden. Kaiden, it doesn't matter. Here's Barrier. Maybe you'll survive. <laughs> Alright, and I guess I can start giving... Uh... You know what? I'm going to give him assault. Cool. All right, team, let's go. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams, repeat your team. Final line, Diego teams, move. Time to get some attention. Final line is in coordinated crossfire. Check for long-range turrets helping to get target. Fucking blowing the get the way. <laughs> that man got clotheslined. Are we good? Communication is disrupted. I believe that's one of the things we have to do to help him out. Anything we can do to undermine the gap. I really Someone's want this guy to survive. We've got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. This just leads back to where we came, I believe. I'm going to keep checking the map because I don't want to... Wait, what? Refueling platform, research facility... Wait, where did we come from? Communications tower, this is what we just did. Alright, cool. Alright. We're, we're going the right way, right? Which one is me? This is the way I have to go. <laughs> I really want Kirihi to survive, honestly. That's why I'm trying my best here. They're calling sat strikes. Jayeto, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? It's a fucking Krogan. Aid station. What's this? Why is there why is there an exclamation point here? We're getting pounded. Bunker up before the aircraft returns. How the fuck do I get down there? There's something up here I gotta shoot. Oh, there we go. I think I might have been too late though. I'm not sure. And I believe those uh, exclamation points don't disappear, right? Yeah, they just kind of stay. For this lead, the refuel platform. All right. Wait, it's dead. Let's head over to the refuel platform. Take out what I can take out there. Get flyers destroyed. Ow. 
Ow. Mean ass rocket. Air threat has not materialized. You may be getting some help. Shadow. Oh shit. Don't get meleeed by the Krogans. Make sure there's like no satellite or something back here. Shadow team must be getting close. Hold the line, men. Hold the line. Let me see. Where am I? I went to the refueling platform. I wanted to head over here. See if there's anything there I can help them out with. Kind of like a platform over there. So Might as well check it out. Thanks, Rex. Needed that. Now, was there anything down here that I can help out with? Took out the satellite, I destroyed the flyers. I guess this was just another way in. Yeah, okay, I guess this was another way in. Then what the fuck? Where the hell does that lead? <clears throat> that just looks like a damn dead end, but it's gotta be something in there, right? Break it. Okay. Just a sniper point. All right. <clears throat> I guess I helped them with what I could out here. I don't think there's anything else right now. So let's get to the research facility. to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Williams and the Solarians to handle. Hmm. They got enough trouble. Just We're good. Disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Cool. Indoctrinated. All right. They got my fuck by Saren. Oh. Man, the shotgun's brutal. What are you guys shooting at? You guys shooting at like a stalker or some shit? Man, you guys cleared the rest of this room out for me. Some of his men got indoctrinated. Alright, just gotta triple check and make sure. <coughs> Ain't nothing this way. Nothing I can, like, disable or anything. Actually, I don't need any meta gel right now. Ion containment. Okay. 
Hello? Is someone out there? Give a little ground, Williams. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. Oh shit, which door do I go through? This one leads to detonation cells, the lab, to the labs, store trim, fuck. Journal, where am I supposed to be going? Ah, oh, do I take the elevator or do, ah, damn it. I don't remember where each of these places take me. This is where I want to go. Cell block B leads to maintenance. And then this. Okay, this leads down here. Cool. So there's these guys down here, right? Talk to this boy. Oh, you're not a gat. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imness of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during Rico. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base. And why should I trust you? Everyone here is indoctrinated. You might be working for Sarah. My whole team was altered. But I was left alone as a control subject. I still have my senses, although I almost wish I didn't. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envied them. Sucks for you, man. Tell me about the research. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turn them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. So guess what? This guy's indoctrinated. He's a liar. If I let you up, how do I know you won't just attack me? It's obvious that I'm not crazed or drooling like the others. Let me out and I'll stay out of your way. Nope, too risky. Sorry, I can't take that chance. I'm not opening your cell. No, don't leave me here. Please. Bye. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure if that guy's lying or not. I'm not sure if I remember, but I'm pretty sure he's a liar. So, uh, let him rot. You can spare the renegade points. Even if you're going for Paragon. <coughs> let him rot. Let that boy rot. Alright. This is... Holding Cell B? This is where this leads to? These guys, if you let them out, I'm pretty sure these uh, guys are indoctrinated as well. They're all indoctrinated, so, uh, you know, do all that. This going down leads to maintenance, and this leads to the communications tower, the security office. What? Jetophage lamps. To security. Huh? I'm confused. We just came from here, right? We're in... Where the fuck are we right now? Alright, let me take the elevator see where the hell this leads. <coughs> I'm afraid of making progress and, like, getting Kirihi dead, you know? I want to do everything that I can around here. Oh! Okay, let's not touch with those. Let's not mess with those anymore. Ooh, that was a Krogan coming for me. Whoever did that, thank you. Where does this lead? Oh, this leads back to where we were going. Okay. Security office, and then this led to maintenance, and this is the communication tower, which I think is where we're supposed to be going, right? Reading facility entrance. 
All right, let's go ahead to maintenance. Anything over here in this corner? Nope. We'll head to maintenance and then we'll double back. Wait, no, this is where we came from. This leads to maintenance. Fools out here getting blasted. Can't open the door. What do you mean I can't open the door? What do you mean I can't open the door? What the? Is there a button up here or something? Aid station. I guess the button's in, like, security. So I need to head to the security room and then get back here. I will not mess with any of the cells. Don't believe you. Everyone in this place is trying to kill me. Do I look like a soldier? I'm a neurospecialist, and this job isn't worth dying over. Or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. Okay. And why should I trust you? Give me one reason I should help you. I... I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. Go on. Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? I don't think she's lying. I don't remember her lying. Tell me about your research. What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Salarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What kind of collateral damage? What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. All right. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom the subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. I'm not sure if she's indoctrinated or not. I'm pretty sure she's not, though. All right, get out of here. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. 
but I'll never fucking oh. run. Stop talking to me. I did. I did enjoy that. All right, this leads to Saren's little lab. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime. All right. Let's check it out. That suck. Scrambled my brain again. All right. Well, that happened. Let's get going, guys. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. Damn right I'm not. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. You're the ship. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Well, you don't scare me. I'm a big man with a big gun. No, that's all right. I'll stop you. And the Protheans were alone, so I mean, yeah. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance. And at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. You built them? Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us. Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. Alright. So who created you? Actually, why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. 
You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Well, you're not organic life, so who made you? Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. That's a lie. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Alright, you literally answered... You did not answer that question whatsoever. Where are the rest of the Reavers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. We are our Legion. Our will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. Nah, it's okay. We'll stab you. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Well, fuck you too. Oh, shit. Commander, we got trouble. Alright, what's up? Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is shot. Orders, Commander. Let's go set that fucking new we'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Kaboom! Right, Commander, I'll meet you there. Joke around. The American way. But first, we gotta go destroy that fucking breeding facility. Ah shit, they're getting shot. Where are we going? Am I going the right way? Where are we going? Okay, there's the genophage labs. This leads to the breeding facility. I tried to head down over here to maintenance, but it was locked. Maybe after maybe after talking to Sovereign I can oh well, that's it for for maintenance. I can't go back down there. So whatever was in there, I missed it. I hope... Uh, maybe Kirihi just died. I'm not sure if he died or not. His commissions got cut off. Commissions? His communications got cut off. That's what I meant to say. Good job, Krogan. Well, he fell over. Here we are at the breeding station. Ah, oh, shit. There's a Krogan over here? Oh no, Geth Ghost. I think I might have killed Kirihi. Not sure. I really hope he's not dead. I tried my best, you know? I can't shoot. I can't shoot. Why can't I shoot? Good work on the gun, Shadow Team. Now it's our turn. Okay. He's alive. That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Alright, we gotta take out take out all the bullshit here. Charges 
to set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Wait, who's bunkering down? Is it us? No, it's them. They're in a different location. Alrighty. Alright! Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. They did Later, it? I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Alright. There's Normandy. That was a bird. <laughs> Just flew super close to me. Alright guys, put the nuke down. Gonna blow this motherfucker sky high. <coughs> Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? I read you, what's up? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA Tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hmm. No one's getting left behind. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative! Just make sure that nuke is set! We'll hold him as long as we- It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. This is the option. Alright, see you later, Kaiden. Up to the AA tower. Move. Not second thought in it. We are gonna bring... Hmm. I think Liara's story relevance is kind of just done now, honestly. So it's either of these three. Um... Garrus wants to fight Saren, so let's let him fight Saren. And so does Rex. I mean, he deserves it. Tally doesn't really have that much story relevance in the first game. She's just here to be a cool Quarian. Now, wait, which way is to the, to the AA Towers? This way, cool. Let's get going. Oh, I gotta level up, uh, homeboy here. Do that. Assault training, electronics. Uh, dampening. We'll give him his tactical armor. And one more in assault. Let's go save Ashley. Oh god. Rex. Rex help. Rex help. Rex help. Oh my god, get him Rex. Get him Rex. Get him Rex. Good job. <laughs> now, I believe when Ashley calls there, I think it will tell you if Captain uh, Kirhi died or not. I think she'll be like, We talk heavy casualties, Captain Hiraki's dead. Hiraki? Kirhi? Where the fuck his name is? Captain Kareem? bad is it? Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. What? What the hell are you doing, Alenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off. No matter what. No matter what. It's Whatever it takes. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Shut the hell up, Ashley. Williams. Radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry, dog. I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. Godspeed, Kaiden. I've been saying his name wrong this entire playthrough. 
Goodbye, Kaiden. We went out in a blaze of glory. All right, chill out, Ash. All right, coming in here with a fucking Torian and a goddamn uh, what you call it, and a Krogan. diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. I believe you can talk Saren out of this fight if you have enough, uh, if you have enough persuasion. Okay. You don't fool me, Saren. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power. Even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction. I'm not being a slave. Slavery's bad. I don't like that. Machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know. Dude, you got fucking robotic tendrils coming out your rib cage. I don't believe you. If we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. They're using you, Saren. I joined Sovereign, though I was aware of the dangers. I had hoped this facility could protect me. But it didn't work, now did it? You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own, for now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. That's a lie. Notice how people got indoctrinated without having robotic tentacles all up their ass? And you look at Saren here and you're like, yeah, you're, you're super indoctrinated. Yeah, ain't no going back for you. It already happened, dog. Tell me about that conduit, though. Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. But you are, though. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god. The pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Sovereign's manipulating you, and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. I believe this is the choice you have to get out the fight. 
kind of want to choose it. But I also want to shoot him. Ah, whatever. Don't you see? You're just a tool. Sovereign's using you. In the end, you'll be tossed aside with all the rest. Do you think you can sway me, Shepard? Do you think I haven't already thought of this? Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. Actually, I think what happens here is that you put doubt into his mind, and that makes him not fight during the last fight. There is no other logical conclusion. I think that option puts doubt in his mind. So the last fight, you can just skip to the final phase, I believe. Hmm. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between Saren, you started your argument with hanging organics, out with Sovereign is machine. for my salvation and your destruction, so, and now you're I saying that you don't want us dead? Than have ever you're a liar. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Cool. Garrus, take out your sniper. Shoot him. Rex. I don't know, do some bullshit. Where the hell did he go? There he is. Oh! <laughs> he force pushed me. Garrus, help me! Well, I guess the boss fight is you gotta get him to half health. I ain't even seen Ashley. Where the fuck are you? I didn't get to talk to Ashley or Captain Carrie. Goodbye, my Everybody beautiful baby boy. Believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Listen. Uh, uh, it was you or him? There was no time. I couldn't save you both. The bomb was about to go off. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. I'll never leave you. I'm sorry, Ash. I'd never leave you behind. I couldn't. You know that. I know, and I'm grateful, but Caden died because of me, because of us. Don't sacrifice yourself? Don't worry. I'm gonna fucking kill Saren with my own damn hands. Get it together, soldier. Caden's blood is on Saren's hands, and when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. Yes, sir. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Go ahead, do it. Brain fuck me. Our minds again, don't you? Make Ashley jealous. Go ahead. Let's do it. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity.
Incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. What'd you see? Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. Anything else? What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. And you never mentioned Ilos before. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. All right. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. They ain't gonna stop me, Tally. Come on, girl. You know who you're talking to. The conduits on Ilos. And that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting. For Motherfucker him. just killed Caden. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the council. We need a fleet to. Oh, I am sorry. Ah. Oh, joining is. Exhausting. It's too intense for my mind. Go to the Gotta start making porn noises. All right. Go ahead. Lay down. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn him about Sovereign. Yeah, go ahead, do it. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. I hope you don't plan to cut us off like last time, Commander. What you discovered on Vermeer is too important. Yeah, I won't. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Uh, listen, the Krogan don't matter. They're gone. Sovereign's the real problem here. The Reapers wiped out the Protheans. We're next. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign. Ascension machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. It's accurate. Like, you don't you don't believe me? Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren's I talk to the ship. Now. What do you want? You probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Oh my god, do you need proof? Really? Don't be stupid. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Man, fuck you. Here's another saying. Go to hell. Maybe we were wrong about you, Shepard. Maybe humans are too hot-headed to be specters. Enough! Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. This discussion is only a minor disagreement. you damn right it is. Bye. Oh, looks like we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. <laughs> What's that? Turn them off. Goodbye. I told you what you needed to know. You want proof? I'll go get proof. All right. Anyways, Kaden Alinko is now dead. Rex is saved. I believe there might be some Solarians on our ship because we needed to put them on our ship to hang out. They should be hanging out near where Kaden would be, I think. Let me see if Captain Kirahi is among them. I think this is where he would hang out, right? Don't they hang out on the ship somewhere? Maybe they're below deck. Sad music playing. Sad, sad music. Goodbye, Kaiden. Ah, he survived! It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. You will become war assets in Mass Effect 3. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. I'll miss him. Caden was a fine officer. 
He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Don't worry, we'll... We'll, have the to work together again someday. well, we'll drop you off at the Citadel, don't worry. How you holding up, Ash? Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. It's not your fault. He wanted this. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Uh, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? Hmm. They did their duty. Listen, didn't let it get me down. They died. I gotta be better. It was my job to get everyone else. Make sure death wasn't in vain. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember it, and I'll do better for it. Yeah. In the next game, I won't be so much of a space racist. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. How we doing? What's your opinion on the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. Uh. Man, screw the odds. When it comes to the survival of humanity, who gives a rat's ass about odds? We're gonna fight them. Damn straight we will, Skipper. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. Don't worry, we'll figure something out, Ash. Talk later, Williams. Everybody has a Looking place. Looking forward to it, Skipper. How you feeling, Garrus? Commander, good to see you. All right, he's not feeling anything. What about you, Rex? Commander, things got heated back on firm. Damn right, did. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. No matter what it takes, I'm going to hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. So long, Rex. Shepard. All right. Everything went as I wanted, and I'm happy that it did. Vermeer is the scariest place for me on Mass Effect hey, 1. Do you need something? Really? You got nothing to say, Tally? Come on. Go. We learned about the you Reapers and shit. Alright. Yeah, Garrus and Tally are the ones that usually don't have the most to say in Mass Effect 1. And guess I'll go check up on Liara now. And then once we're done with that, we'll head over to the Citadel. See if there's anything new to mess around with there, and then we'll call it a session. We got a lot done this session. I'm very proud of it. Maybe Chakwas will have something different to say. Oh, and I, I guess I can talk to Joker, too. How you feeling, Chakwas? Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Oh, you just don't ask her about Kaiden no more? <laughs> okay. How you feeling, Liara? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I was a little worried. You okay? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. This is the exact same thing you said before. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. I do too. He's become a slave to the Reapers and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Although Saren hates humans, he does, he did mean good, right? But it's just that, yeah, Sovereign's just way stronger than him. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. 
That's true. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. See you later. All right. I fucking. I think this is the first time I actually ever saved Kirihi. <laughs> I didn't know. I did no research beforehand. I actually never knew that that satellite was on top of that roof before, so when I saw that, I was like, what? Maybe this is why I never saved him. Okay, let's go talk to Joker. He might have something new to say. If not, then we'll just, you know. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Elenko and Williams must have been... I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if I could have done it. There is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? How you feeling, Joker? You were kind of close to Kaiden. Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Alright. Oh, I guess we can talk to Presley, too. I don't think you have much to say. I never really talked to Presley after uh, getting rid of your teammate. Yes, Commander? Yeah, not, not new. Carry on, Presley. Yes, not, sir. Yeah, not new with uh, Presley. All right. Guess we're going to go head to the Citadel. We forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. Oh. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. About damn time. Mm, yeah, about time. Took them long enough. I'm trying to Back think, to like, Citadel, if I, Joker. If I hit I the Citadel, would it, like... That fleet. Yes, sir. I want to... I want to see that if we go to the Citadel, it won't, like, automatically start the, uh, mission. To head to the relay, right? I don't think it would. Because <laughs> we still gotta do, uh... We still gotta do Bring Down the Sky DLC and Pinnacle Station. Oh, what's up, losers? Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. Really? That's it? What about what about Ilios? How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Oh, Ilos, whatever. Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's yeah, I agree with them. Secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Okay. And what about the Reapers? Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. Oh my f And then yeah. only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. All right, what about the conduit? Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Then send me in there. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. Listen. We recognize that. Nobody knows it, knows it was me. The touch. place is new. We have the situation under control. No, you won't. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. Watch who you're talking to, Udina. You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Alright, fucking Count Dooku. <laughs> like, chill the fuck out. What's up, Ash? I hate being right. <sighs> About the council? They thought they'd listen. That they'd see. 
You're an optimist, Skipper. Times like this, I'm glad I'm not. The Council's used to being the biggest kid on the playground. They don't want to believe Daddy's coming to pick them up. And eat them, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't care if I have to go to President Huerta. I won't sit back and wait for the Reapers to start killing people. Whatever you come up with, you can count me in. I know I'm not the easiest person in the world to get to know, so I'll do you a favor. Just this once. I want you to be happy. Whatever you need, I'll help. There. You made me say it. Boom goes my feminine mystique. Feminine. Right. You know I care. I've had a hell of a time figuring you out. But I think I have. I want you to be happy too. You better. Hey. Let's go fuck on Kaiden's corpse. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. You cunt. All right. Give me the message. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. Sounds important. You'd better go. This can wait. <laughs> I'll let I'll let Ash cool down. Come on, Dally, let's go. And uh, Rex just been through a lot, so Garrus. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Alrighty. I believe this is our last time we can be on the Citadel before we need to get shit done. So, if you need to get anything done right now in the Citadel, do it. And then don't, uh, what you call it? You want to do that and just stay away from Flux. Because when you start talking to, um, Anderson, that's when you're not going to be able to come back to the Citadel once you start that mission up. So right now is a really good time to run around the Citadel. See if there's any new missions for you. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, and even, Major Kyle. And even if there is no new missions for you, I would say, uh, I would say take this moment to, uh, first of all, make a save file, and then, um, disorder. and then, uh, what you call it, head out to the systems and stuff and go and collect what you need to collect, finish whatever side missions you need to do. Oh my god, we're about to talk to this bitch. <sighs> Walk away a little bit because I don't want to activate it yet. I want to make a save file. I need to make a save file. What's up, homegirl? Commander, Kalisa been seen in Aljalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Hmm. Um, go away. Get away from me. I'm not in the mood, Miss Aljalani. People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? I don't have time to justify myself to your viewers. I have a galaxy to save. Excuse me. Your choice, Shepard. Oh. You know what? I'm actually going to save scum that one. <laughs> maybe it's in maybe it's a Mass Effect 2 that you get the option to punch her. <laughs> Knock her lights out. Good night, girl. Boom. Kalisa been seen in Aljalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? It's overdue. We all Next. know it should have happened years ago. I hope the council realizes that we won't sit at the kids' table forever. Some believe that without firm action on our part, the council will continue to treat us like poor relations. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? 
Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? Miss Algelani, I wear the Alliance uniform. And if you think anyone other than me says where the Normandy can go, you're sadly mistaken. No offense intended, Commander. I'm sure you have to follow the orders of your superiors. Of course, now your superiors are aliens. Speaking of your new job, did the Council order you to sabotage human research concern on Novaria? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I blew that shit up. I made that call to save myself, my crew, and the inhabitants of Novaria. And I'd do it again. It's gratifying to see someone who'll make tough choices to protect the lives of humans. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? Time to shut you up. I've had enough of your snide insinuations. Boom! <laughs> you son of a bitch! I'll make sure everyone in the Alliance sees that. Your career is over. Oh, baby, my career's just starting. Now, I want to point out that was just a 100% me choice. Chad Wellington would never put his hands up against a woman unless he needs to. <laughs> unless he absolutely needs to. That doesn't mean a domestic dispute. All right, let's get that straight. He's not a wife, Peter. He doesn't have a wife. How can you beat something that you ain't got? All right, let's see. Surprise, my intimidate still isn't like, well... I guess I gotta get my Renegade all the way up. It's going pretty well though. I don't think I really need any crazy Renegade anymore. Hmm. Let's see what we got for you. Um. Put into your dampening. And Tally has eight. Holy shit. Get her shields up there. And then I have other stuff. Alright. I will say this is going to be it for this session. In between the uh, streams, I'm going to run around the Citadel. I'm going to see if there's anything new I can find. Right. And then I'm also going to uh, finish what else I need to do out in space and collect whatever things I need to collect. There are some, like, there are some, like, facilities I found and shit, um, while I was out there doing things, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, be careful around those, try not to, like, do anything with it, unless, uh, some, there are some areas where, like, the plot icon, the important icon, the exclamation point just doesn't disappear for some reason, but, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this session. We did a lot. Went to Novaria. Did everything on Vermeer. Everything I wanted to do in Vermeer turned out wonderfully. And um, next time we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be checking out the things I need to check out. And then we're gonna head and do uh, the Bring Down the Sky DLC and um, and Pinnacle Station and get that going. So with that said, end of the stream happening. Uh, you know, if you enjoyed what you watch, consider getting a tier one sub. It helps out a lot more than you think. Um, over at YouTube, I'm uploading stuff again, right? So look out for the continuation of Pokemon Crystal. That playthrough has been finally, it's done, it's recorded, all of it's recorded. I just have to upload it. And Resident Evil 5 Co-op, that's going up too. Those episodes are going to take a bit of a slower time coming out because fucking the audio is just all wonky with that playthrough. And we can either re-record it or uh, or not. And since um, it's like our first time really beating that game, fucking I don't think I want to re-record it. So I'm going to try my best to fix the audio there to not make it as bad as it actually is. But don't worry. Next time I do a co-op Let's Play, I'll fucking uh, make sure that um, I'll make sure that... uh. That the audio is all set and good. I'll spend hours getting that audio right before we start recording that shit. Fucking god damn it. So there's that. And then uh, Breath of the Wild stuff is going back. Once all that's uploaded, I'm going to start 
uh, I'm gonna start continuing the um, Star Wars. Uh, what is it? What is it called? Jedi Survivor. Yeah, I'm gonna continue doing that after uh, that's done, and then of course we're gonna be moving along with the Pokemon Marathon, onward to Gen Three, and so on and so forth. So if you're interested in that, check that out on YouTube, right? Uh, link to my YouTube is in, you know, it, it's everywhere on my Twitch. So you can just easily check that out. You know, it's, it's, it's there, right? And I think that is pretty much everything I want to talk about right now. So, uh, the next stream should be not tonight. I think it might be Monday night. Is it Monday night? Let me check, actually. If not... If it doesn't happen within the next two uh, two days, because if, if you know if it happens in the daytime, it's going to happen in like the afternoon or whatever. But I'll let you guys know through uh, Twitter and uh, and the YouTube community pa uh, YouTube community page when that uh, if I do anything right. But it should be happening on maybe Tuesday night. I think it might be Tuesday night. Yeah, Tuesday night. Yeah, Tuesday night. That should be uh when when we uh that that will you know definitely be a stream that night. So uh, yeah. That's it right now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I had a lot of fun doing this session. More fun than the last one because the last one was just a bunch of menial tasks that I fucking was going to blow my brains out doing. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, as always, I want to say thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. Alright, where's the, where's the end the session button? Here it is.